what is. All right, let me get up to your Twitch to make sure I actually failed to do this properly. Uh, 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 I am on top of things, guys, I swear. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's up. Cool. All right, I'm going to move you all over to the world map, which is Yay. the map of the world. Yes, I'm saying the stuff don't interrupts when you're doing the recap. Okay, no, so, will. so uh, recap. Do do um, uh, we are getting interrupted still. We are in Missouri Harbor, which is in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Uh, Missouri Harbor is next to Trombe. It's also the hometown, evidently, of one Matilda, uh, who is in our group. And uh, we went there in the dead of night by horseback, which didn't really go so well, leaving Trombe. Uh, and we met up with her family, and we are now in the morning after. Um, and let's drop you all in the harbor. Splash. Oh my. And this was, go we just woken up, I, as I recall, Logan had brought us food. Yep, yeah, Logan brought you breakfast. Devouring the breakfast. You be, on, <laughs> be on the right hand side of the map. And I think it was like eggs. Yeah, Alright, uh, well, so... The fox is equally galatin all along. Matilda doesn't happen to be with us for some reason, not sure why. Uh, because I slept in the house. Yes. Uh, uh, I guess you are being a late sleeper. I guess you're going to go and uh, say hello to your young one. Yes. Uh, <coughs> anyways, the rest of you, what are you guys doing? Eating breakfast. Eating breakfast. Yeah. Alright, let's go to Matilda then. Uh. Mm. Oh, this is going to be irritating. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a bit of an interesting one. So, I'm going to get up, get, get dressed, and all that. I'm going to yeah. see if she's in her room. You walk into her room, and it appears that uh, Smilia has not quite woken up yet. She is. Lying in her room. <laughs> <laughs> she is uh, lying in her bed in her room, uh, snoring ever so lightly as children are wont to do. Oh, she takes after her mother. Matilda does not snore lightly. No. I can confirm this. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't uh, tell Logan. I can confirm this. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna... I'm going to go up and uh, gently Bad. rock her awake. Okay. Uh, so, with very, very little effort, you wake up Samilia, and she turns over, and she's like, eh, not now, just a few more, Daddy. And then she looks up, and she's like, Mommy! And then she gives you a big old hug. And I pick her up and swing her about. <laughs> and it was adorable for everybody. It was adorable. The no she saw it. She appears to be <laughs> extremely happy that you are home. Uh, did, did you miss me? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, she, she is now excitedly showing you all of the toys that she has uh, acquired since you last were around. Um, showing you all of the cool new things that she's got. I see uh, I see your daddy's been uh, spawning you a bit. She kind of giggles. Yeah. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, you haven't been uh, taking advantage of your old man, now, have you? Maybe a little. Out of girl. Did you bring me anything, mummy? Mm. It's on. It's on the. It's on the table. She goes but, over to the table. Little, 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 bu little button on the side. She uh, pushes pushes the button. What happens? That'd be the uh, wolf on it. So uh... that'd be the, the button to make the wolf activate. Yeah. All right. So you know, the you, know, uh... you said like what it actually does when it activates. I think you yeah. said it turns to a wolf. Out. Yep. Uh, it unfolds into a wolf and it gives a howl as if howling at the moon, um, a silent howl. And she uh, she watches it for a minute and has a big old dopey grin on her face. She looks mm. happy. I'll tell you. I'll tell you that you enjoy it. 
She hits the button again and makes it makes a howl again. <laughs> You're gonna break it if you keep pressing it again and again. <laughs> Isn't that what it was made for, mummy? <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's not that kid. <laughs> <laughs> so, on. how long are you staying with us this time? Uh, maybe uh, about a week, I reckon. Oh, yay! Are you gonna go and and get some more bad guys like last time? <laughs> yeah, more bad guys. Definitely more bad guys. Could you save so, this time? A lion. Save the lion. Did he have a thorn in his paw? I remember that story you used to tell me. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 this one was shaven. Luckily, he's growing all his fur back. She looks a little confused. Oh, don't, don't worry. <laughs> Come on. Meanwhile, Come on. over at the camp, Leonidas <laughs> gets the odd feeling Matilda is talking crap about him. <laughs> so, you mean the feeling that he feels all the time? Yes! yes. Literally all the time. <laughs> I would... I would convene with uh, with Odin on this matter, but I don't think I need his wisdom to tell you that the answer is yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh. Come on, Princess. Your father can't be too far from me. I'll give you a piggyback. Alright, so as Matilda and Samilia start making their way down towards the rest of you, uh, do you guys ask Logan anything? Do you want, want any information? So, how long have you known Matilda? Well, we've uh, we've been married for four years or so. I uh, met her quite a bit earlier. We we uh, we never got along at the start. Uh, she used to do a lot of weird magic to my weapons and mess them up and stuff. And uh, Well, eventually we uh, we got married. So, uh, yeah, that's how it went. <sighs> I can see uh, you both have the same affinity for storytelling. Yes, we're both great at it. <laughs> yes. Yes, you, you are. You should, uh, you should write some books about it. We did. Oh, um, and <laughs> someone refused to publish them for some reason. I wonder something why. Something about too much blood. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, at, this po at this point, Matilda feels like someone is talking crap right now. <laughs> <laughs> Civilization will never understand our greatness. <clears throat> Alright, about this time, Matilda catches up. Um, I just I... want to point out the group will probably see Matilda without her armor for at least once in their life. <laughs> and her hair, see, at the moment her hair is actually down, which is something you never usually see. Uh, she's, wear she's wearing a white, white blouse and a, a long, long blue skirt. So, it's, for some reason, you suddenly realize Matilda might actually be a woman. <laughs> 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 this surprises most of the party. <laughs> yeah, well, you could tell by scent. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, yeah. <laughs> Morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. So, who's the lad little lass you brought with you? Well, we, well, I don't know. Who do, who do you reckon this little lass belongs to? I hope it's not you, Matilda. <laughs> I I smack Leo over the head. Logan looks back and he's like, "Huh? Well, she's got well, it though. Maybe we can um, keep her." <laughs> well, I can agree with that. She is cute. Um, actually, no, no, I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna be, be mean. I was tempted to make. I was tempted to use one of my curses to blind Leo for a good bit. <laughs> I could well. Know. I, mean, I could also blind Leo if I, if I wanted to. <laughs> but 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 yes, Leo. This one's mine. <sighs> you know, people people have kids, Leo. You know, probably what happened I eventually know. when that when that arranged uh, marriage of yours eventually goes through. Uh, I mean, not all mothers. Leo literally like groans at that fact. Just You're gonna get married? Is this the lion you were talking about? Different lion. Sadly. Yeah, he doesn't look like he has a lot of hair. I see she's picked up quite a bit from her mother. Apple doesn't fall far from the tree, yeah. Doesn't seem like it. Mm -hmm. 
probably smart, probably smarter than a mother though. <laughs> and Gorka just keeps her mouth shut. <laughs> so, um, what are you, what are you lot planning to do today then? I know it was my idea to bring uh, come down here just so I could see the family, but I kind of forgot about you guys. Um, yeah, I'm. Uh, well, hmm. what's there to do in town? Well, well, there's a forge. A very nice. Forge. Well, there's probably lots that we can do it, like whatever we can do in any other town, right? There's, 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 a, there's a blacksmith that uh, that probably would want your money. <laughs> it's uh, it's very... been a while since I've had uh, nothing pressing to do. I well, haven't had to just wait in a while. Hmm. Neither have I. Well, there there are a lot of people around. Um, a lot of different trades around. If you guys want to take a look around the area, and figure. Uh, geez, what is the pop populace of this city anyway? Mostly dwarfs, or um, the it's got a fairly eclectic mix. There's a lot of dragonborn, a lot of dwarves, um, gnomes. You know, you know, here and there. It's a port. It's a port port. town. Yeah, it's there aren't very town. many uh, Goliaths. There are a handful of actually a a fair number of Kurgian. Uh, which is the word I am borrowing from sauce to describe animal folk. Uh, As opposed to the term we've been using. Yep. And uh, the, the term I've been using was, uh, I have no idea what term to use, so... <laughs> I gave him a term, because my term has symbolic meaning. It's, it's symbolic. symbolic. Right. Oh, and uh, oh. there's there's a lot of you know, pretty much any race that you're you're looking for. There aren't very many Goliath, of course, uh, but there's there's a fair number of just about everyone. It's not a huge city, however. It's probably about you know five or six thousand people, which is uh, a s very small city, large town. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not gonna. I can probably yes, I spend a lot of my time at the tavern. <laughs> Surprising no one. No, true. And I spent a lot of my time at the forge. Speaking of, I should probably get to that. Yeah, you got any? Uh, you got any? Pre Do that. Got a lot of business going on there. Well, uh, a nobleman just asked me to make a blade for him. So, are we talking practical use or just super fancy and never going to be used to kill anything in a lifetime? It's a nobleman's blade. What do you think? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, use the cheap metal there. Yep. But he's gonna be uh he's gonna be paying a pretty penny for it at least. Let me guess more money to go and submit more money to cheat your little girl. What else is money for? That's a... <laughs> and with that uh... he's gonna take off uh he's gonna ask similarly, uh, do you wanna go with me? And she's gonna look up at Matilda. You can come. You, you can come around with us if you want. I want to stick with mummy, she says. <laughs> and Logan just ruffles her hair and heads off towards the forge. <sighs> well, I'm gonna have a dead shoulder by the end of the day. <laughs> well, at least you'll be plenty of exercise. Uh, Good thing I prepared Revivify. <laughs> 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 Personally, wasn't expecting to use the diamond so soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, this town is uh, a fairly large town. Uh, you can you can find pretty much anything you look for in it as far as uh, different trades go. Uh, there are several shops in the area. Probably nothing fancy in this place, but anything you really think you might want uh, might be here. Well. I'm probably going to throw Jeeves in for a little loop. The only thing I can think of Leonidas doing that isn't searching for his objective would be charity work. Okay. Hey. Kind of charity, are you... Yes. Are you that's just what I do when I got nothing to do. The funny thing... Well, obviously... Well, I mean, he can heal, technically, so... Okay. I guess going around healing the sick Maybe aiding the poor in some fashion. 
you get the feeling if, if you're going to be doing healing, it might be a good idea to talk to the temple. Uh, religious areas yeah. generally are known for right, helping uh, out. Sorry, I my dog is barking. Gotta find That's out okay. what it is. Um, I, I'm pretty much offering Leo to pretty much help in that regard, and I'll spend time with him as well doing the same. All for right. the first day, at least. Uh, Seti, what are you doing? Well, before anyone else leaves, I want to ask, uh, ask Akaya something. Uh, you know what's that, up? You know that one thing that you've been using it in some fights? Like, what do you call it? A crossbow? The, yeah, it's a crossbow. What of it? I've been think. I, I, I think this would be a pretty good chance for me to do some learning and practicing about this whole tinkering thing, but I realize that I've been trying to get in a little over my head, to say the least. I've been... Like, when I think about it, I've been trying to... I, that I still I grab the... Can. I... Say, I grab the crossbow from my belongings and just throw it at it. Oh, not like chuck it at him, but just kind of just toss it towards him. Like, seriously, it's no big deal. If you want to mess around with it, like, okay. you break it, I'll get another one. I actually just meant maybe I could make you some things to shoot out of it. You know, those things that are like arrows, but you don't actually call them arrows. Oh, I'm crying out there, the cold, the cold boats. The boats. I was about, I was about to correct him. I, um, <laughs> I kind of, I here, watch this. I load up one of the radiant bolts, and I find just sort of a, something I could use as a target, and I just show um, off the radiant bolt. Are you bolt. sure it's okay to use that, use something so valuable? It's, it's fine, it's fine, no to give a yeah. this down. I, I'm doing it for you, I'm doing it for your sake, you want inspiration, bam. So I get that uh, streak of, yeah, so... There's one of my radiant bolts. Gone. Roll a uh, roll an attack. Oh. Alright, roll an attack. Da, 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 da. Where is he? Where about you far in this? <laughs> uh, just um, so not inside. Like I find somewhere. Like I step outside, I find something that's completely inconspicuous where no one's nearby, and just fire. Like a you tree. see a uh, bullfrog explode into radiant energy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <Yeah>. Bam. <laughs> You gain 10 experience. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm going to tack that on there. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I go there. Um, so I, I hand him the crossbow and I hand him... In fact, I'm going to hand him 20 crossbow bolts as well. If you want to mess around with that, go nuts. No. Thank you. I will no. promise I'll be very careful with everything I do. Because I don't want to ruin any of your things. Seriously, and, I could replace it easily. Well, maybe I'll. Well, maybe when I'm done, maybe I'll be able to replace something for you. Mm -hmm. I don't Good know. Good luck, and I kind of prepare to head out with Leah. Now, Simmy, this is why. Thanks, you're, and I wave him goodbye. Now, Simmy, this is why you, it's very important to do your studies, so you don't end up like these two. Don't crossbows <laughs> only cost like twenty-five gold? Oh uh, no, that's what that's what the problem is. Okay. She happens to know a lot about weapons, guys. You might wonder yeah. why, but it's because her daddy works in the forge, so... And he probably sells a decent amount of weapons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Silver, Silver, what are you doing? Oh, the, uh, the reason Akaya is kind of so, like, doesn't really care about the crossbow is because if I really need to, I can just prepare Radiant. <laughs> Use Guiding Bolt instead. Yeah, um, it deals a decent amount of damage. Yeah, yeah and gives people advantage. As Furukawak is doing at the moment, she is just currently sitting side saddle on the broom, just floating there thinking and laughing at the occasional jokes, mostly those at Leonidas's or Matilda's expense. <laughs> um, as for what she actually wants to do, she has the bag of holding, so she's actually probably flipping through and she pulls out a few of the gems to look at. I feel like I kind of want to have her try a little bit of um, gem crafting, jewel crafting, cool. but I'm not sure what she's going to do with them yet. All right. Um, Matilda, what are you planning to do? Guys? Matilda, yeah. what are you planning to do? Oh, for God's sake, cool. That scared me. Sorry, we went silent for a second. <laughs> <laughs> we were waiting for you to talk. I didn't. No, I didn't catch that. 
Ah, That's the thing. Be something. Yeah. Um, hmm. I'm basically just going to spend like the first couple of hours of the day just playing Matilda. No, right. not to reverse Familiar. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm always just. Yeah. DJ has died on us. Oh, uh, uh, rest. R.I.P. in peace, DJ. We knew him well once. Alright. Um, so you're gonna you're gonna play around with Smilia, uh mm -hmm. Kwaku, you're gonna go off and do stuff. Ciala and Nashua are just gonna hang around town because um Ciala's not here. Uh or Alto's not here, and Nashua is an NPC. He was probably just gonna follow around uh Leo and Nakaya or whatever they're doing. So yeah. Healing uh, the sick and being charitable people. Alright, um, so if DJ could come back, that would be nice. Uh, yeah, so, there we go. There you go, okay. So you wanted to go to the temple and uh, heal some people, right? Sure, why not? Uh, Nashua's gonna go with you guys. She doesn't have any healing abilities, but uh, she doesn't she have anything watch. else really to do. So you guys are gonna go up towards the temple, which is to the north. I'll let you guys move up to, on the map. Yeah. Uh, Garthal, you're going to go towards the forge, which is right where Logan is. Yeah, I suppose so. Um, Kohaku, to work with gems, you probably want to find a rather quiet spot. There is a locksmith square down here, which deals with fine art like that. You may want to go down in that area. Not not fine art, but fine tinkering kind of things. Words. Anyways. Um, <laughs> and Seal is just going to... Hang around the marketplace, I guess. Okay, so uh, let's start with Ikaya and Leo. What are you guys doing? So yeah, um, we'll go into a temple and um, offer our services as a cleric and a paladin to heal the sick and the wounded. You see as you enter a, uh, a human priest. He steps forward. He, he looks down at you and he says... Uh, looks down... He looks down. He's looks, actually probably shorter, so he looks up at you. Looks up. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's probably shorter because you guys are like seven feet each. He's um, standing on a box. Yeah, he's standing on a box. Casual reminder that I am seven foot six tall. I I could say he was at a on a pulpit on a raised dais, I, but uh, half of our party is pretty huge. He he looks around Four at you. the three of you, and he says. Uh, Paladin and a cleric. Of which deity? Of Odin. Odin. Of Gaia. If you can call her a deity. The Mother Earth is not exactly a deity, but she does grant power. You may be able we to help. We offer that power to those who need it. We don't have many sick. We do have a couple uh, people who are uh, we don't have many injured. We do have a couple people who are sick. Uh, we have a couple of uh, diseased people. We're not really sure exactly what their disease is. We don't have any paladins in this area. Perhaps you could help. Perhaps we could. Let me see if... Oh, perfect. I can most definitely help. I happen to have... A lay on hands. Not just <laughs> lay on hands. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so he takes you to the back room. There's a couple of people in a what looks like a hospital bed, whatever the makeshift version would be, and uh, a cot. One of them, yeah, a cot. One of them looks fairly green, uh, and not like Matilda Green, just like throwing up all the time, green. And the other one isn't really moving much. I, I mean, go to inspect the one that isn't moving much. Roll a medicine check. Hey. You, you are able to see that this person, they're not really moving around, but they are shivering quite a bit. As you place your hand on their forehead, they seem to have a very, very strong fever. Hmm. 
I can't tell anything else of what's ailing them, just that they have a fever. It seems to just be a simple disease, possibly something that uh, might be carried by the local rodents or flies or something. I mean, I, I do actually have to take poison and disease, but seeing as they seem to be common uh, illness is nothing supernatural, I think I can just get away with using lay on hands. Okay. So, do I'll you put five points? Situation. Five points into each person, yeah. Oh, sorry, you do that. <laughs> <laughs> you put five but, uh, points in, into uh, the feverish person. Uh, five points into the person who was um, green, green, yeah. and uh, the the nauseous person immediately starts to feel a bit better. Uh, she sits up, still holding her stomach a little. I mean, you, you're still gonna feel the effects of it, mm -hmm. but uh, she's not throwing up anymore. That's the, good. The feverish person, the fever seems to have broken, but. She hasn't. He hasn't woken up yet. Oh, well, understandable. Because I go to check his forehead again. Uh, roll medicine. Oh. I got bumbled up. I can't feel it. <laughs> <laughs> you are able to tell that the fever has subsided somewhat. Uh, however, this person probably should have woken up. And something seems to be wrong with them other than that. Hmm. I I turn to the, the cleric that let us in. Do you what do you know of this man's ailment? Well, I don't know very much. He was actually brought in here from outside. Uh someone brought him in on a cot, said that he just seemed to collapse at work. Or on a stretcher. And he just seemed to collapse at work and they brought him here. Other than that, I don't know much. Okay. Then it's time to actually start investigating now, isn't it? Mm. Um, does it appear that he's clutching like a part of his body at all? Uh, it appears that the guy is just sleeping. Uh, he doesn't seem to be doing anything other than just sleeping so no, naturally. No obvious wounds or anything. Right. Well... I can cast a type poison disease. Of course, do I have the description written up? No. <laughs> but so I'll cast that. I can't cast it as a ritual, unfortunately. Okay. And it's for the duration you can sense the present locations of poisons, poisonous creatures, and disease within thirty feet of you. You also identify the kind of poison, poisonous creature, or disease in each case. Okay. Um, as you cast this. You don't really feel like there's any disease or poison nearby. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. It's I'm they gonna might... try. Gonna try something, and I am going to cast this as a ritual. I just want to cast it just for effect. Where is it? Where is it? No, no, <laughs> there. Um, there. Okay. I can't cast that as a ritual. As a ritual? Uh, oh, right, no, it ritual. can't. That's okay. right. I keep forgetting it is not a ritual. So no, I don't do that. I um. I try to see if there's any obvious signs of a curse, like any markings or something. Roll an Arcana check. Ba -ba -ba. You are not really sure. Um, it. You're not able to get very much from that role. Can Leonidas make an arcana check? Uh, sure. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna Dark assume that... Uh, we do not get. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that uh, the priest is gonna help you, so you get advantage on that. Um, so you are able to tell that there probably is some sort of curse of some type. Uh, you're not exactly sure what it is, but uh, it appears that something has cursed this man, and that probably had a side effect of uh, giving him a, a fever or something as well. Interesting. So I, I got to like the priest and go, go the, the 
the, like I point to the one that we've managed to cure. The, um, the man over there, he will be fine. This one over here, like as you probably realized, he's um, something's cursed him. I can cure it, but I'll have to. I need to convene with my deity, so I'll have to return tomorrow. Uh, the priest nods. Uh, Wait, you don't have it prepared? No, I don't. I have cure wounds, inflict wounds, healing word, bane, lesser restoration, blindness, deafness, warding, protection from energy, mass healing word, revive a fire, control water, divine favor, shield of faith, magic weapons, virtual weapons, crusaders, metal, spirit guardians, freedom of movement, and stone skin. Right. I have you, don't, right. you don't need to give us the, uh, the whole list. I know. I just... Okay. Fun. So, so the priest nods and says, uh, yes, if you wouldn't mind coming back tomorrow, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Do you have any others that might need assistance? Well, uh, no one no one here. I mean, we can do simple healing ourselves. These two, we seem to have some more issues with. Mm. All right. Mm. All right. I'll be back tomorrow. tomorrow. Uh, if you are still looking to assist, perhaps you could go to the soup kitchen. <laughs> sure. Leonides yeah, why will not? Leonides will assist in the soup kitchen. Right. Um, the soup kitchen is actually down south in the area. Yep, you cut out there, James. Yeah. The area town called, called Respite uh, down here. Okay. All right, let's Step switch on, on to someone else. Um, Garthal, what are you doing? I'm going to Logan to make some crossbow bolts. Uh, Logan watches as you enter, and he says... Well, is there anything I can make for you? He appears to be in the middle of uh, working on a very ornate looking sword. Uh, it appears to be a great sword. Jeez, jeez, jeez. And then yeah. Matilda's, then Matilda's voice echoes through uh, Logan's head. He'll eat the dog. 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 <laughs> <laughs> there does not appear to be a dog in the forge. You're not sure why. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're you're not sure why. That should be cause of for fear, you know. <laughs> gonna eat my German Shepherd. All right, all right, Sadie, what are you doing? <laughs> um, actually, I'm here to make something myself, and I was wondering if maybe you could help me a little bit. I wanted to make some of these crossbow bolts for my friends, and I show him the bundle of bolts that Akaya let me borrow. Okay. Uh. Logan seems to have a fairly large stash of crossbow bolts nearby. Um, it appears that crossbows and, and uh, bow and arrow used quite a bit in this area. So he pulls one out and hands it to you for you to inspect. Go ahead and roll an investigation. Oh boy. I can't wait to critically fail this. Yeah. Uh, the, the crossbow bolt is just a very simple straight piece of wood um, with a piece of iron or something on one end and uh, something on the other side to help it fly true. It's not very complicated at all. You have a feeling that if you spend some time with it, you probably could figure out how to make a few yourself. This is like a good place to start. Mm, mind if I sit down over here and get to work? Logan nods. He says, uh, sure, just uh, I'm going to be working on uh, this over here. Just stay away from anything very sharp or dangerous. I'll and be very careful. He says uh, that everything <clears throat> sharp and dangerous around him. If you, <laughs> if you see any dogs, I would request that you just stay seated where you are. I and will not touch any dogs. And I'm telling him that with this very plain, straight face. Roll persuasion. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Uh... He seems to believe you for now. <laughs> <laughs> he does have like a minus two to something, right? Charisma. Charisma. Yeah. So he seems to believe you for now. Um, it's actually wisdom that's the counter to uh, to persuasion, but that's all right. Um, okay. So go ahead and uh, how long do you do you plan to spend here tinkering? Um. How long do I have? As long Pretty as you much want. all day. Mm, let's say all day for this first day. Alright. Roll four tinkering checks. Ooh. 
Wow. That is that yeah. is a really, really good set of rolls. Um, because Not I'm bad. looking at both the advantage and the, the other one. Um, so you are able to make 150 crossbow bolts. 150? Whoa. Okay, I'm you, did, you did spend all day making crossbow that's, bolts. That's true, that's true. Um, and you got second, I'll add them up for you. Okay. And you got, like, a whole bunch of 16s, which is honestly impressive. Oh, very, very good. That, that is not bad. Now, I, 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 got, I got a quick oh, question here. counting Where, all of them. I got uh, a yeah. question. Where did the materials come from? <laughs> um, yeah, I was about to ask, how much is this going to cost? This is going to actually cost you not very much, because crossbow bolts are very cheap. Um, so it's going to cost you... Uh, it's going to cost you four gold. Four gold, sure thing. That's base price, really. It's half base price. Well, that's base. food for Sim that's food for Similia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and how many did you say it was? A hundred and fifty bolts? Yes. Oh. You are now fairly decent at making crossbow bolts. <laughs> Maybe this is thing, I don't think I needed that many crossbow bolts. I might have overshot a little bit. I don't even bother you a crossbow. Logan's gonna gonna look at you at the end of this. He says, uh, "Having fun." I, uh, 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 oh, um, maybe I went a little bit overboard, and I just kind of nervously rubbed the back of my head. Well, um, how about this? I can buy a couple back from you. Uh, that's sure. How many do you want? As many as you're not willing to take. <laughs> I think that I think that I'd like to keep fifty. How much would you like to pay for the others? Uh, he is willing to pay twenty-five silver. Sure. Then Matilda Sonny Kisafina, our husband, is making a stupid deal right now. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure he's coming out on top because he could probably sell those for a lot more. Yeah, probably. And to be fair, I, be I think I probably could haggle, but in character, I don't really care to haggle. Be better. <laughs> Again, he's he's paying half price, so which is a, the typical sell price. Yeah, he gets a hundred crossbow bolts, and I get twenty five silver and fifty crossbow bolts. <laughs> yeah, and fifty crossbow bolts. Also, you are paying him for the materials, so... Yeah, I already paid the four gold. <laughs> he kind of, he kind of <laughs> made out pretty well here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. That's true. Winner. Logan. I made this for the experience. <laughs> all and right. now I've learned that I do not need to spend all day making crossbow pieces. <laughs> <laughs> that is you the could most spend, valuable thing I've learned today. <laughs> you could have spent, like, a few hours on crossbow bolts and then tried to do something else for the rest. Yeah, so. I seriously <laughs> underestimated myself. That's the thing. Does Kafu just step out and it's just darkness? <laughs> Alright, Kohaku, How what are you doing? How long have I been in there? <laughs> she flew off to the locksmith square, like landed, and started looking around for a quiet place to work. Okay. Um, there is there's a few different uh, buildings in the area. Each one of them appears to be of a different trade. Um, you do find that there are a couple of jewelers in the area. Uh, they they aren't very... They don't have a lot of stuff. Uh, they, they don't really have much use, but there is one or two for the odd uh, requirements of certain people. So, uh, Do you want to go there or do you want to find someplace else? Uh, she's probably going to look for someplace else to at least work. Alright, roll investigation. Alright. Uh, this is the wrong thing. This is the right thing. This thing she's you're able to find... Proficient. You're able to find a rather secluded uh, area. Um, most of the buildings are occupied. Uh, most of the buildings here are, you know... They're, they're for trade. There are a few houses nearby, but uh, there is one or two buildings that appear to be closed, uh, as if there used to be a trade here, but no longer. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, as you ask around, uh, an old man seems to have the keys to one of these buildings, and he says he's willing to 
let you borrow it for the day. Uh, just pay one gold to rent it. And she'll um, ha um, be willing to hand him over one gold for that. Okay. And he'll unlock one of the buildings for you and, and let you uh, use the, the building for the whole day. All right. Let me see. She's probably going to ritual cast Unseen Servant so that she has a <clears throat> a helper of sorts for this for anything okay. she might need. Um, okay. Okay. That lasts. How long does that last? Only an hour, and she can always recast if necessary as ritual. Mm -hmm. um, and then she's going to more or less get to work. And let's see. Out of the gems we have, I feel the best bets are either gonna, or at least for appearance, would be going into work with the bloodstone or the tiger's eyes. Chris, because okay. I don't like how the hematite looks and the shakadani isn't that bad. And the black pearl, I feel, is gonna summon a cursed ship. Pirates all over. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> okay. So, let's just start off with the, uh, the cheaper gems as well, so that she, if she does mess up, she we're only down fifty gold instead of five hundred. So, what are you planning to do with these? <clears throat> um, immediately, I think she's probably just going to consider working on um a set of jewelry, perhaps just rings. I don't think she's currently to the mindset of trying to see if there's one that she could use in, to enchant magically. So she's probably mm -hmm. just going to focus on just making it jewelry so it might be worth a little bit more if they try to sell it. Alright, so you're planning to set which, uh, which jewel into a ring? Let's start off with a bloodstone. Bloodstone, alright. Go ahead and do you have a uh, anything set up for jewelry? For skill? I don't... I... Uh, do I have a jeweler's kit set up? I do have a jeweler's kit set up. I don't have any stat on it, though. Okay. Uh, give me just one second. Well, at the very least, a jeweler's kit would add proficiency. Yeah. Right, you have proficiency. Yeah, proficient. I'm checking yeah. your skills here. Yeah, dex seems to be a, a good idea. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you use dex for it. Okay. And you have proficiency? Yep. So go ahead and roll a uh, jeweler's kit. All right, uh, you're you're being helped here, so you have advantage. Uh, mm -hmm. So you are able after after one hour, you're able to set a bloodstone into a, a ring, and it looks very nice. You have a feeling that you can probably sell this for about a hundred gold. She'll will she hang on to it for now? She'll try to sell it. I think for now, she'll just hang on to it and try the same with one of the tiger's eyes. Okay. Um, Go ahead next to your bloodstone or whatever. Just change that to bloodstone ring and put 100G next to it. Uh, so I know how much I told you it's going to be worth. Uh, and roll another... Are you, you're recasting Unseen, I believe. Yeah, I would recast. Uh, roll another yeah, Jeweler's Kit. Okay. So again, you're able to easily set this into a ring. Uh, you feel like this one, due to the lower quality of the jewel you're using, you're only going to get 25 gold out of it. Yeah, those are the lesser gems, aren't they? I honestly didn't remember which gem was which. <laughs> Bloodstone's worth about 50. Tiger Eye's worth about 10. Still huh. making a good profit out of that. Tiger's mm -hmm. Eyes are pretty cheap then, yeah. Alright, so if I realized um, that, I would have started off with the Tiger's Eye. <laughs> you are also, you're also going to have to be spending a little bit uh, on the supplies. You have to find gold yeah. rings. Um, so you are able to find... Uh, how many rings are you planning to make? Uh, let's just go with. Let's go with those two. Okay, you were able to find a pair of gold rings easily for uh, ten gold a piece. Do you find any She's bounce still bags? Making a profit off the uh, tiger's eye ring versus just selling it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yeah. So Five ten gold, gold a piece. Profit. I'll just take twenty gold out. Yep. The bloodstone is gonna is definitely a real winner though. If I trusted my luck with the black pearl, but I feel like that like a pearl would look better in a necklace anyway. Yeah. Or you also have to be a much higher DC for that. Yeah, there is that because it is a very very fancy gem. And if I fail, I get the, like I said, pirates. <laughs> um, I think that's going to be all she's going to work on for now. Mainly she's just trying to, since she hasn't had the chance to do this in, I'm going to say, at least a month or two. She's just making sure she hasn't lost any of her skill. It appears that you've uh, definitely kept your touch on that. All right, and with that done, she's going to be mostly content. She'll probably find the old man, which she uh, rented the place from, and inform him that she's going to be done. So 
that she's not going to okay. be there for the rest of the day? Um, his his rental fee is for the entire yeah. day, uh, yeah, she's so just, he's not going to give you a refund. Yeah, so she understands that. It's just the comment, like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to be there anymore, so if something else is in there, it's not me. All right. Um, he's he's going to take the key back from you. He's, he's also going to let you know if you do plan to come back anytime during the day, you can just ask him and he'll hand you back the key. And she'll thank him and then she'll probably just head off to, oh, what's she going to do at this point? She's probably this, is taking you, uh, this is taking you about two and a half, three hours. Yeah, she's probably just going to wander around the uh, town for the rest of the day. Probably right. from above, just see the sights, get a view of what's going on. Hopefully not right. get shot down by a random bow crossbow probably not probably not no I'll be <laughs> um okay so ikai and leonidas back to you guys yay okay so we're at the soup kitchen you guys are at yay. the soup kitchen and nashua came with you for some reason i didn't drag her down all right uh mm -hmm. so you you get to the soup kitchen it's about noon time at this point um and there is a rather large people who do not have a lot of money outside um and yeah, Matilda. If you wanna, if you wanna go to the soup kitchen, that's perfect. Yeah, I just bump into him. <laughs> Take okay. Uh, so Matilda and Samilia are also there, and at first you guys think that maybe they're in line for the soup kitchen, and it confuses you greatly. Uh, but uh, after a while, you realize that they're coming to help as well. So, Hamatki <laughs> didn't thank you for being the charitable kind, Matilda. Well, it's a small town. I, you tend to know a lot of people. When is this small? <laughs> it appears that a very large percent of the people know Matilda uh, and Samilia fairly well. Mm. They, so they're waving at her. They, they, they kind of stand hi. out. <laughs> you're all like a celebrity in this place. And where normally you would expect a half work to have a lot of negative connotations with him, it, it appears no one seems to be treating her poorly. Look, you, you three are going to stand around or you're going to help out here? Well, if I, I, if I knew I was going to be, I would have ended up here today, I would have uh, prepared to uh, create food and water. <laughs> Look, are you any good, are you any right. good with a kitchen knife? So it looks like I'm looks like I'm just handing out soup. That is fine too. We'll just do this the old Leo, fashioned way. Leo, you're cut, Leo, you're cutting onions. All of them. Um, <laughs> roll, uh, Ikaya and Leo, if you wish, roll survival. Uh, if you have okay. cooking, you can use cooking instead. Nope, survival all the way, baby. All right. Um. Leonidas, you seem to be very bad at cutting onions. You slip and what you cut surprise. yourself. What a surprise! What a surprise! You slip and you you cut your finger once, and just so you know, the cut on your finger does not hurt nearly as bad as the onions that are squeezing their juice into your finger. It hurts. What do I have? Um, like one point of so damage? I'm, <laughs> so I'm just I'm just chopping these onions, and then I start getting into a bit of a ditty. Do 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 a pot with some water there, and you're chopping them under underwater. Uh, do I, that keeps that keeps the I, uh, the annoying stinging sensation that goes to your eyes and makes you cry. Uh, yeah. That keeps that from happening. So you're perfectly fine. You do a very good job cutting onions. <laughs> and I also help my friend who seems to be cutting himself a bit there. Is um you still got those onions ready, ready yet? We've got to start putting them in the pot. Oh. Right up to the line. I'll be fine. Lee and I. Pretty much after you cut yourself, you just it just kind of like feels better, like you've just been healed. Leonidas, roll a constitution save. Are you? It's a good thing you have my aura. You now have tetanus. <laughs> just, 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 just Leo's never getting tetanus. Like Matilda, that. you have a feeling that he, Leo Manius might have been crying at some point, but uh, that he seems to be perfectly fine at this point. So, 
Uh, Nashua and Smilia, on the other hand, are very expertly uh, cutting up, uh, you know, carrots and potatoes and all these other things, doing a very fantastic job um, putting it all together in a soup pot. You can you trust your four-year-old with knives? Yeah. Smilia, Smilia looks up at you, gives you a little wink, and then she tosses a knife up in the air. It spins about five times before she catches it by the handle and continues chopping as if she didn't lose a beat. You, you think her father cooks? I think I I think she's better with a knife than you when I nudge Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Leo is grumbles. Yeah, just, just straight up grumbles, goes back to cutting <laughs> onions. Hell, Maybe you'd be more suited to tenderizing me. <laughs> I can't cook. Uh, point at his I hammer. I don't have a hammer anymore, remember? Oh, that's right, you don't. I no. point to his hammer and then realize he doesn't have a hammer anymore. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I missed that thing. Well, not, not, the, not the cursed one, I just miss... Yeah, one, I miss it you know. too. It was a nice hammer. Not the cursed one. Not the cursed one. Yeah, I think it means the cursed one. Oh. No, I, I mean my regular hammer. The cursed uh, one, it was nice, but no thank you. Not again. Uh, and Matilda knowing she can't cook is that she, is actually just panning out the soup to everyone. <laughs> Alright, you guys uh, do a fairly good job handing out soup. Everyone seems to be happy. Um, you do not get paid for this because it's charity work. Yes, obviously. But uh, you, have, you have a feeling of... Uh, Actually, everyone roll a d10. Oh, interesting. Everyone in that group. Uh, Watch it, being that he wanted us to roll low. Okay. Who's, who's going to roll for Samilla and Snashua? This is important. <laughs> oh, yeah. point. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna roll for them. They don't matter. Aww. Dude. <laughs> bad, bad, bad. Don't, don't you say that. Don't you say Some that. Everyone. Say that on Nashua. Everyone. I think it's time we left this RP. This DM <laughs> doesn't care about the important things in the game. Damn it. Like, like cute little half orc children. And Nashua. <laughs> um, Nashua does seem to be very happy to help you guys out, though. Okay. Um, Samilia, on the other hand, she's she's uh, bored. <laughs> she's very happy playing with knives, but it's it's uh, more that she's happy to be next to her mother. It's probably been a long time. Good few months. <laughs> so, how long do we do you think we do this for? About uh, an hour or two. Yeah, it's like two hours. All right, I'd say two hours is fairly decent. So it's uh it's mid afternoon. Um, Koaku, do you want to meet up with them again? I I figure she can meet up with them again. She was kind of just drop right. in on them, pretty literally. So it's it's early slash mid afternoon. Um, Koaku, would you have helped out with the soup kitchen when you got there? Um, how close to were they to have been ready to leave? Well, you were probably done around a little after noon time. So, traveling up to Respite, assuming you looked around the city a little first, uh, probably another half hour or so. Yeah, she's on the broom to speed things up greatly. She probably would have been willing to help out. Alright, roll a d4. Cool. <laughs> cool, cool. Cool. Y'all will never figure out what those rolls are for. Nope. <laughs> I don't really care. Never. Okay. Uh, so, about this time, uh, you guys are done. Uh, Ciala finally catches up, and she has purchased a couple of healing potions. Interesting. Um, just because Alto's not here, I am going to steal it from his money. <laughs> oh. Wow. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to put in healing potions. Uh, I'm missing all of this because I'm too busy crafting a jillion yes, bolts, yes, right? Yes, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Um, sure. So, so Ciala has picked up two healing potions. It's on her inventory. Um, 
and uh, she'll meet up with you guys. What do you guys want to do now? Hmm, good question. Now, is it? Matilda, I know you had something you wanted to do. Uh, when did you want to do that? Oh, I'll, do, I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Just, it's, well, having a child, you can't, I can't exactly bring the child there. You could. <laughs> no, I, no, no. I you can't. have a feeling that, that Smilia wants to stick to you like glue. Oh. Uh, so, Q. <sighs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'll be doing it. I'll do that tomorrow. Okay. Um, Alright, so I want to I wanna get through what we're doing each day, each week, pretty quickly. So, uh, you guys, is there anything in particular you want to do for the rest of the day? We're, we're going to the tavern, right? You're all going to go to the tavern? Uh, we'll, we'll, cor we'll corral for the rest of the day. Alright, everyone roll a constitution save. <laughs> Including me? You no. are busy making crossbow bolts. Okay. <laughs> Leonidas oh, will not oh, be oh, giving oh. his aura to Matilda. What? <laughs> no, because she wants to get drunk, right? Oh yeah, got a point there. <laughs> yeah, everyone else can have it. I'm tempted, very strongly tempted, to roll for Smilia. <laughs> no, no. no, everyone. Everyone will. Be also, can, also, can I can I mention? Can I just say, Matilda is trying to drink. Ciala would not actually. be drinking though, because you know. Yeah, Ciala doesn't drink. Um, all right, so uh, Leonidas, you you do not seem to be affected at all. Uh, the rest of you, however, this is some pretty strong dwarven ale. Is that uh, including the bonus to the aura? Yeah. Plus yeah. four. Yeah. DC. Wow. DC twenty five. You guys have. Uh, I'm gonna say you guys have disadvantage on this because I want you to. So yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, told, I, I, I told you guys this fest down here. Oh, Ikaya is kind of. I'm going to argue that you can don't auto fail me and don't fucking like. Oh, you're fucking out of it because that's rude. Like, oh, you're you have dis disadvantage because now you're terribly drunk. Okay, you have disadvantage <laughs> because that. this is dwarven ale that is very very potent, and you were definitely I wouldn't have not ordered expecting that if this. It was that. Jeeves, I Jeeves, have, Jeeves. I ordered it if it was that. Jeeves, potent. Jeeves, Matilda has been drinking this pretty much for the years now. Yeah. So yeah, you don't but have it, advantage. I, I can just, uh, yeah, like, but I, it doesn't matter. She only rolled a 14. I, I can understand Kawaku having disadvantage because she's used to wine. Alright, so uh, Nashua is extraordinarily drunk. Um, the rest of you are... are I'm not going to say you're like rolling over, but you're definitely feeling it. Except for uh, Leo. Except for Leo. Leo's like, what is this, Will? Is it <laughs> no. water? No, I think Leo, Leo probably would have had Dwarven Ale before, because, you know, noble. Yeah, you are next so, door. So, mm, yeah, mm, living next door, good relations with dwarves. This is not new stuff to him. Ikai, you feel like this is the best stuff you've ever tasted? <laughs> oh, this is the best stuff he's ever had. For um, once! Better, yeah. than, better than that pissy elf crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm beginning to... Meaning to see why people say that. Matilda, at some point, you see Samilia trying to sneak in to get a drink. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. She rolled a zero on her stealth no. check. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, she doesn't even have. She doesn't even have um, dex, does she? Or she has minus two dex. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> so so we she has minus two dex, so she can perform knife tricks. Sure. She is good. That doesn't matter. Child she characters. Child characters. Mm -hmm. Smilia uh, heads uh, back towards the forge. Yeah. Sadly, I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna walk home. She yeah. opens the door to the forge, and a whole lot of crossbow bolts fall on her. Whoa! Now you what? You are keeping them next to you. I better say, if anything you're... happened, Garfield will be dead right now. You're essentially. <laughs> Garthel would be dead right and now. Then yeah, stacking them up problem. next to you in sort of like a pyramid shape. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Matilda, you see a very large pile of crossbow bolts next to Garthal, and he seems to be dead to the world and very focused Look, on 
Logan, um, do I even want, do I even want to know what's going on here? <laughs> Logan looks at you and gives a great big shrug. <laughs> <laughs> Do I notice her? No. 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 Lizard. You are you are dead to everything else. You are set and focused. <laughs> you've seen it you've, you've seen it in a trance before, but this goes beyond that. You seem to be calling upon the uh, the the tribal nature of the way you were born and the way you live, even tapping a little into your barbarian rage look, to look. make these crossbow bolts. Logan, Angrily he's, forging. Logan, he's pay, he's paying for you for this crap, ain't he? He's paying through the nose. Oh, thank God. Well, he hasn't even touched the dog though, so that's good. Uh, uh, well, at least we could, at least Amelia's getting more toys later on. <laughs> thank you. You really want me to? Uh, you really want me to be? Giving Smilly a crossbow bolt? I thought that was one of the things I wasn't supposed oh, to Oh, no, no, with the money you get from him. Oh, okay. Remind me why I leave you with the kid again? <laughs> <laughs> Smilly looks up at you and says, Because I can't come with you when you're being a hero, right, Mommy? Uh, that's true. Oh. Uh. <laughs> All right. Christ, so life's crap sometimes. The, <laughs> the night falls. Uh, the morning comes. Not much major has happened. Uh, what are you guys planning to do for day two? Roll for hangover. I have learned a very important lesson yesterday. Pay attention to the time whenever I do whatever I do. Right. Um, not rolling for letting everyone know that. What are you? What are you saying, Kwaku? I was saying roll for hangover. No, you're not rolling for him. You're all, you're all fine. Um, well, if I'm so feeling ill, well, I cast... No, oh, actually, I'd, I'd get Leo to help me. Nashua is feeling very ill. Yeah, Leonice would probably throw a uh, lesser restoration onto her. Um, I feel like I can have Koako spend four hours and copy in one more spell today. And After, after a quick meal, I go to the church to cast Remove Curse on that guy. I don't, know, I don't know what you guys are on. I don't know what you guys are on about. I slept like a log. Bed's nice and springy. Are you all of yeah, you? Yeah, heard. <laughs> well, for our side, Jesus. Is everyone okay? <laughs> Everyone's fine. Don't Everyone's worry fine. about it. Alright, Matilda, you're gonna do something. Do you want people to go with you or no? Uh, they can come with me if they wanna, want to. Oh, what's Matilda doing? Where are you going? Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'm going to uh, visit the order. I think Oak would want to go. The Order... Order uh, Mirror? Oh. Ghost Slayer, which Leo would prob would know, because he rolled it, if I recall, he rolled a thing. Natural thing 20! Well, but... Yes, natural 20 on a history roll. Told me Net everything 20. I needed to know. Yeah, um, sure. I think I... Go ahead. Go I don't think I would know anything about this Order of the Blood no. even if I rolled. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't. No, Not. you wouldn't know. You're too isolated. Um, exactly. Nashua and Siala want to come with you. Kawaku wants to go with you. Uh, I mean, have... at this board. point, at this point, I kind of don't want to be left out. I'm just going to quickly address some business at the temple, and then I'll meet with you guys. All good? Yeah, yeah. Matilda gives him directions. You have plenty um, of time. You know what? To I'll to join you in a little bit. I I'll join you a little later, but first I want to try to... Make something different. Matilda does not give him directions. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you don't know where it is. Well, uh, Garthal is good at survival, so he might just find it regardless. He might. <laughs> he might. <laughs> Leo, are you going with the group too? It's um, up in the he'll head with Akaya first. Okay. May or may not go, depending. As they say, variety is the spice, is the spice of life. <laughs> Alright, Ikaya, you, you have plenty of time to run up to the temple, cast a yeah. spell, and run back. It, it's not going to take Carly any yeah. time. Oh, so um, nothing special happens? No, nah, you're, you're out one level three spell. Um, yeah. If here's this person is healed, uh, it seems they're, they awake, uh, they're very grateful, and uh, they shake your hand. You saved our lives, we are totally grateful. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank, thank not me. Thank the glory of Odin. Uh, the the guy looks at you kind of confused for a minute, and he's like, Odin, he's not really known for. Anyways, and he he just uh, heads on out of the temple. Thank you. Anyways. Uh, okay. Do I get anything for that, or? You get the feeling of accomplishment. Oh, generosity. Compl- and and if I was happy with. Ikaya's happy with that, but I'm not. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you gained a plus 10 to that roll that I had you roll. Do you, so I got a 20 out of 10? No, you, uh, you, gained, you gained a 10 on that roll that I had you roll. That's what you gained from it. So I, yeah, okay. I go back to head off with everyone else. All right. Done. So you six are going to head on out. Um, I assume you're going to somehow convince Milia to stay with Logan? Uh, she'll do it. She'll do it. She'll try. Roll persuasion. <laughs> oh my god. Someone is so getting grounded. <laughs> uh, persuasion. Okay. Uh-huh. So, Samilia pouts a bit and then heads off with Logan to the I forge. will buy, I will swear to god, I will buy you a chocolate cake when I get back. Do I have a candle? Yeah, I'll buy you two. And it'll be magical when I do thaumaturgy and kind of... Uh, you can hear, like, the like. Uh, what's a good miracle for this circumstance? Yeah, I don't think you, need, you, you don't need to cast a miracle. <laughs> Any fireworks? Smilia Fireworks kind of just pop from my fingers as I kind of wave them. Smilia runs up to Matilda, gives her a big old hug for about 10 seconds before going back to Logan. I was thought I'd prior off for a second. <laughs> come come back soon, mummy. Uh, well, it'll be a few hours. Uh, Garthel, you're going with them back to the forge? Yep. Okay. Breaks, breaks my heart. So, I am going to do this. You are staying there. The rest of you are going over here. You're probably going to be blind for a bit. Unless Ooh, I have... Yeah, blind. Yeah, Blindness, blind. no. If only I had blindsight. Blindsight is stupid powerful. It's pretty good. Screw it, is very screw good. it. I, very I can fix this. Where's my tactical visor? Alright, y'all should be up top left. You all should see it pretty there easily. Mm-hmm. Target okay. rich environment. Um, no, I don't see anything. Top left. I s- top left. Now I'm looking at all corners. You should see... You have sight. You should have a it. very small amount of sight. Okay. Alright, uh, back to... I cast light on my lance. Alright, just a minute. I mean, uh, back to Seti. Garthol, right. what are you planning to make? I'm going to take a look at the crossbow that Akaya lent me. Okay. Alright, so are you going to try to... Uh, Create that? I'm going. Well, first thing I want to do is inspect it. Okay, roll investigation. Investigation. Mechanisms are truly a mystery to all. (laughs) 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 This this crossbow is not something you've seen before. Uh, It's not. Well, you've you've seen it used, (laughs) but there's Um, a lot of weird things going on. It reminds me sort of that clock which uh, suddenly cuckoos. Um, you you don't really know exactly what's going on with this. Uh, you feel like you could try to make it, but it might not work quite right. I should go with something different. Do you have any ideas on what to make, Logan? Well, you made a lot of crossbow bolts. Uh, what do I? Uh, what What can you make? Maybe Maybe some arrows, normal arrows. Uh, a few normal arrows sound good. Like, let's say I try to work for an hour this okay. time. Roll a tinker check. Arrows are simple enough that you probably don't need to investigate it. Okay. And oh. he wow. Does. You're easily able to make uh, a batch of 20 arrows. 20 arrows, nice. Okay. Um, Logan, as you finish that up, Logan says, uh, well, how about this? Since you're easily able to make that, why don't you try putting 
Do you know any magic? I know a little bit of magic, and I sort of conjure mm -hmm. a tiny bit of my, my, my totem dragon's ice power. Why don't you try putting that into a crossbow bolt or a uh, arrow? Smilia, stand back. That's <laughs> an interesting idea. Uh, do, I, do I think I'm ready for this? Can I roll insights to see if I think I'm ready for this? Uh, roll investigation first. Why do I think something bad's about to happen, guys? Now roll an insight. I'm I am suddenly worried for my daughter. Wow. Do you have a feeling that there's there's a chance it might fail, uh, but you don't think that anything majorly bad would happen if it did? I mean, your spell isn't super powerful anyways. That's true. Um, so you have a feeling that uh, worst case scenario, you lose a couple of bolts. I'll give it a try, and I'll be very careful as I do it. Roll, uh, roll two tinkering checks. Two tin green checks. Okay. All right. Uh, you spend. I'm gonna say you spend the next couple hours on this, okay. and you are able to uh, successfully convert ten of your crossbow bolts to ice bolts. Ooh. So you gain an additional twenty six. An additional 26. That's nice. And how much does this cost? Everything that I did today cost? Yep. So far, everything has only cost you uh, two gold. Well, that's very nice. I thank Logan for his help and his suggestions, but I think at this point I should try to meet up with my, with my friends if I can find them. All right. So I'm going to go back to the other group. And Sadie, I apologize, but you're going to be sitting there on that map for maybe quite a while. I understand this is the consequence of my decision making. Um, also, roll survival. Roll survival. Of course, roll survival. Let me just get back to my skill page. Cool. I will store that away for later. All okay. right. So you guys, uh, you're walking through... Um, the forest, there's actually a uh, eastern path to a forest on, on the Missouri Harbor map, and you take that path, and you, you make your way through the forest down a rather well-beaten path for a while, and then it gets very difficult to see where the path actually goes. Uh, Matilda, having gone this way several times before, you're easily able to leave them you're easily able to lead them uh, through the underbrush, the direction you need to go, um, and you you make your way to this area up here. You have a feeling you're getting close. Uh, I would like you all to roll initiative. Oh, okay. And oh, act, oh, sorry. Dear. Act in initiative order. Um, I thought it makes sense just to move stuff to the front, Jeeps, because. Yep. Hey, a somewhat decent roll. <laughs> Still going last. Hmm. Uh, is that everyone? Looks like it. Uh, how did I beat? How did I beat Ciala? How? How? Uh, Tell me I, how. I hope Ciala Cheese doesn't really well. I hope Cheese doesn't. I hope. Uh, I hope Cheese doesn't think I'm fighting. <laughs> All right, I'm going to have Matilda go before Nashua. So uh, that's fitting. Matilda, you're leading this group through. Um, yep. Again, what, what I'm planning to do for this and the next, quote, dungeon is have you guys basically move at the same time, then do your action, and then in, in order of the initiative, um, so that your actions all happen like after you've name. moved. Yes, so, so essentially, if you see a, a trapped chest and someone wants to open the trapped chest and it's an AoE effect, it's going to hit everyone that's nearby. That's what I'm planning. All right, so... <laughs> He's making it needlessly complicated because he wants immers immersion. Got it! Yeah. Uh, 
I want to. I want to kill as many of you as possible. Let's see how it, let's see how it goes. It seems complicated, but it also sounds like it might be a little bit less slow, maybe because you're thinking about moving first and then all your actions happen, rather than trying yeah. to decide to move. Yeah. All right, so after each action. it might be it might be weird. Let's see how it goes. So Matilda, it's, right I over here, weird. there's a smoldering campfire that's that's giving off a fair amount of light. I was going to give Ikaya light. Speaking of, um, I what is that? 30, 30 right? Thirty dim, or is it fifteen? Forty. I believe. 40, 40. Can I, 40, 40. Can I, quit in can I just quit yeah, investigate the campfire? 20 and 20. So 40, 40 light with okay. 20 Tim. Okay. Uh, what were you saying, Matilda? Can I uh, investigate the campfire? Uh, sure. You you don't have to roll. You know that this campfire is actually a, sig a signal for uh, people who are going this way that they are on the right track. Go, everyone, this way. This way. Um, I've only moved 30, so I can technically move more. If you're running. Oh, okay then. I'm I'm, t oh, I'm running then. Because right. I would be walking. So, as you uh, as you get this far, you hear a rustling in the bushes in the distance. Well, this, well the, and this one isn't new. <laughs> uh, Perception. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll... Yeah, let's go with perception. Go ahead and roll perception. Yeah. Um, I've already said you all hear it. Uh, Ikaya and Leonidas and Kohaku. Uh, you all believe this is probably somebody, a person. Um, Ikaya, you have a feeling it's, uh, it's more than one person. You're not sure exactly how many because it's just a rustling of bushes. Um you feel like these are people who <laughs> failed a stealth check. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what direction did it come from? It came from the east. The east. And I'm not. Uh, I'm not rolling for Ciala because she wouldn't. Even if she got a natural twenty, she wouldn't give you any more information than that. All right. Uh, uh, Matilda, I think someone or some people. Are trying to get the jump on us. Do I know are that you? Are you sure we're welcome here, uh, Jeeves? Do I know that you have people waiting waiting in the uh, forest? You know that uh, blood hunters typically try to not be. Um, they're they're rather secretive folk, so they typically try to discourage people from uh, advancing. Uh, whether that's by having people uh, in the path ahead of ahead of where the actual base is or what exactly is going on, you're not sure. Um, so it's not super out of the ordinary, but uh, it's usually just one or two uh, scouts. And from what, uh, what was that, Ikaya? From what Ikaya got, he feels like it's more than just one or two scouts. I'm going to I'm gonna call out and uh, ask if they are willing to reveal themselves. Are you okay with this? Sure. Um... Is it, bad, is it bad that I didn't bring any armor with me today? I use thaumaturgy and go, reveal yourselves! I'm going to move you guys down a little bit. I no longer Hopefully not stick you in a wall. Okay. Um, might have stuck someone in a wall. Who? No, it's Hoop! No one Hoop! 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 Alright. Let's just move move you all down there and see how it's still stuck in a wall, but that's okay. Alright. <laughs> Uh, as you guys round the corner and Ikaya calls out reveal yourself and looks all scary and crap, you see a hooded figure step around through some of the trees. What a and of shit. <laughs> he, looks, he looks up at you. Hello. Wait a minute. Is this... Matilda. Someone you know? I don't recognize him, do I, Jeeves? Oh, he's hooded. Yeah. He is hooded. Um, he pulls his hood back. And those of you, I think... I think it was all of you. Uh, you recognize this as the rogue nope. that had ambushed you earlier. Son of a bitch. Sorry, how earlier was this? Because I... This would have been the one with the dwarf girl. With Kafka. Oh. I really should have remembered that. Yeah, I, I would 
draw weapons. I draw my pike. And I'm like, what are you doing here? The rogue puts his in. puts his hands out to his side. You can see he's not holding any weapons. Is that really necessary? Was leaving no us to die in necessary? In all, fairness, in all fairness, you shot a lot of them in the gut. You all seem to be alive now. Yeah. No, thanks. To no you. thanks to you. What are you doing here, anyways? If I wanted you to die, you would have been dead. We had plenty of chance. In all, yes, you're in all rather incompetent at it, to be honest. In all fairness, we heard you come from. Most of us heard you come a mile away. Mind if I step forward? Go ahead. So I'll just move up to here, and I'm gonna go. So I kind of put my hand back towards everyone and go to this guy. Where is Kathra? Kathra is safe. <sighs> and what do you guys want with a dragon's eye? <laughs> Oh, you know so little. It's quite funny. Then enlighten me. Why are you following Kathra? We weren't at the moment. It, it, it is my mission. <laughs> Your mission. Well then, you see his hand is starting to reach towards his belt. It seems to be my mission. To put you down. He snaps his fingers. I... And before you can react. A group of other people jump from the bushes. Roll. Uh, Reroll initiative. Just a second. I'm going to remove your initiative. There we go. Reroll Re really? Re your initiative. <laughs> okay, go okay guys. I was totally joking. I'm wearing my armor. <laughs> <laughs> of course. God damn it. Uh... Oh, I need her to God roll high. Damn it. I needed her to roll high. <sighs> At least they don't have a surprise round on us. No, but they're clustered up, and she has a new shiny spell. Ugh. Yeah. Even so. Oh my goodness. This it is... still goes first. Yeah. Wait um, a wait a cocking picking minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, Matilda, you are not wearing armor. God damn it. Um, so, your AC is just 10 plus dex. Yep. Ooh. Oh, boy. What's your dex? Well, oh, no, my dex is... No. Yeah, well, oh, my AC is 12. I'm wearing 12. Oh, my boy. AC is 12, guys. F. No, wait, I've got ring of protection, so... 13. 13. So, I'm going to set you to unarmored AC. God damn it. Sorry, guys. Um, I, didn't, I didn't think Jeez would ambush me on the way to. Uh, <laughs> set your. Uh, I think set it's your, my fault for picking the fight. No, set the fight your um, un uh, your ring to uh, unarmored, okay, so that yeah. it shows up on your unarmored AC. Thank you. Uh, yep. There you go. Is that better? Yep, that's better. Okay, so this jerk face. Um, <laughs> Very accurate. He. Oh boy. He reaches down to his belt and he pulls out a dagger with his right hand and another one with his left hand. The one in his right hand has a kind of reddish hue to it that glimmers in the campfire light. And he throws it directly at Ikaya. And the left one he throws at Matilda. Uh, Ikaya. I kind of uh, wish I still had the shield of arrow catching right now. <laughs> Ikaya, yours misses. Um, Matilda's hits, uh, and Matilda's deals 16 damage. Ouch. Yep. What the hell? He's a rogue. Yeah, but... Even, the, even the dagger. How, how, did he get, how did he get sneak attack? Because he acted first. He acted first. Matilda He's hasn't acted in combat yet. He's an assassin rogue. He, he gets automatic uh, sneak attack on his first attack. Yeah, but that's... Automatic advantage. On yep. what people who haven't acted yet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no one's acted yet. He gets it. Yep. That's bullshit. All right. Fine. Wait, 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 wait. Even you don't get sneak attack if you you got. He has advantage. He has advantage. He has advantage. So he gets oh, it. Uh, Matilda, roll a con save. Oh, 
Right. She gets plus four on this one. Yep. Okay, gun save. That's 19. Yep, that's a pass. Um, you feel as if the blade that pierced you had some sort of poison effect, but you're able to shrug it off easily. Uh, it is now the next person's turn. Nashua. No. no. Nope. Oh, never mind. All right. This uh, this person has. Let's see what was it. Yeah, um, she uh, flexes her arms, and ice, like a bluish hue, seems to form around her fists, and she charges forward. Was that a spell cast? No. Okay. Is this a muscle sorcerer? And she she charges forward and attacks Ikaya. Uh, let's see. What's your AC? 19. So hit, hit, miss. Uh, you take... Actually, hit, hit, and she doesn't get the last one. Uh, you take eight, uh, 5 damage plus 7 damage plus... Okay. Let me add this up. 7 plus... Uh, that. So you take 20 damage total. Jesus freaking Christ. You've got abilities, now's the time to use them. Nashua's turn. Nashua's gonna step up. And she's gonna get her sheet open. <laughs> Good job, JB. Flank by any chance? Can she flank? Yeah. Yeah, she can. She doesn't she doesn't get into any trouble doing that. Aside from the people behind her. Um so she turns around, she attacks this it appears to be a wolf-like uh, individual. Jeeves, I know what this is. Mm. Yeah, no, I do. You love it, don't you? Oh, no, not this bullshit. You love it, don't you? No, I Why? don't. I just got rid of the silver on my fucking pike, you dick. <laughs> you have a magical Ooh. weapon, It's because it, it's cause, because it got, recently got released, <laughs> and he wants to try it out. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm testing it. Um... She has advantage on all this. Good. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, so she, she does. Turn. So, uh, six plus, uh, that's a miss still. Uh, plus nine is 15, plus eight is 23. Okay, so 23 damage. And you have to make a couple of saves. Those dogs need to make a couple of saves. Dex <laughs> saves. I cast fireball. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Rude. Just gonna roll that. All right. So that's this. What the save is? Okay. So, dex save or prone. That's a fail. Nice. And no reactions. Uh, disadvantage. So disadvantage on reactions. So let me. Let oh. me Target cannot take reactions. She chooses. She chooses one of these with each strike, yeah. uh, and a strength check for or strength save for the other one. She passes that one. All right. So uh, she's just prone. Okay. Ikaya, Be you're up. Beat her up. She's beat up. We got advantage. I I look to down at the thing before me. I look to Nashra. I look to Matilda. I sigh. I reach down into my into a satchel, and I uh, pass to Matilda a platinum ring. Put it on! Uh, and I'm gonna cast Warding Bond on Matilda. Okay. It's, uh, well, I've, I've already got a ring there, so... Um... You can put it on, it's okay. All right, just uh, put it on! <laughs> Don't, I didn't say which finger, just put it on! Look, 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 it's nice, it's nice and all, but... Pour it on, and I I'll cast pour. warding bond, and now you have have the um, the effects of that. All right, I am going to give you an aura, just so I know what's going on here, and I'll make it so people can see that aura. Woo! Well, that's a big okay, area. That, Woo! that that is. Oh, I okay. don't. I don't think that Matilda's gonna get far enough from me to. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so either. I'm gonna just remove the aura because I'm pretty sure 
she's she's gonna be fine. All right, so you gain plus one AC and saves and resistance to all damage. But also, awesome. each time it I takes damage, uh, Ikai takes the resisted damage as well. Okay, so okay. there is that, and then I'm going to with my I'm going to step over here, and with my bonus action, I'm going to cast Healing Word on myself at level two. Okay, uh, Matilda, on your front page, I uh, put a plus one to saves. Uh, plus one to saves. Yep. Plus one to saves. Plus one to AC for the duration of this buff. Yeah, plus, yeah, AC, yeah, it, yeah, plus one to saving throws down the bottom. Yep. Is that it? Is yep. That oh, oh, just. And on oh, armor, no on armor, just go ahead and change your ring to two for now. Okay. Just, uh, but we have to remember to change it back. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'll probably ask for the platinum ring back because it was intended for squishier people like Kohaku and Nashua. Cool. Yeah, yeah. but the squishiest person right now is 14 AC. All right. Um, besides Kohaku, what's your AC? Nope, yours is higher. All right, so the next person is up. Oh boy, this is fun. This is fun. Um, okay, so he has plenty of range. He is going to step back. It's, the, it's a profane soul. And he is going to cast... Fireball. Chill Touch on uh, Nashua. Uh, and she's just out of the range out of my aura. Just out of the range. It's an attack, anyways. Um, and he's going to miss. Perfect. So then he's going to, as uh, he's going to shoot with his longbow, which appears to have uh, fire on it, as if it were a fire arrow, basically. That is going to hit. Wait. Oh. You, you oh. Got, they're all blood hunters. They're all. They're right, all the, right. 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 They're all. I'm going to tell you hunter, now: the woman country. is going to be a mutant. <laughs> Probably. Um, one second. What do you have? I wrote something down. I don't understand what it is. So that's not <coughs> good. Um, okay. So, <laughs> so uh, you, uh, she is going to take twelve damage. Is that right? Yeah, I guess. I guess twelve damage. Um, Two of which is fire damage. Kohaku, you're up. Uh, da, da, da. And now that you can no longer move. Good. Good. Slow, slow beam. Oh no, she's she's not slowing. <laughs> like slow wouldn't have been a horrible idea. Because they all have multiple attack. And eh, she's not gonna get closer. She can do it from where she is, so. Starting here, 20 that way, 20 that way, the rest of the area doesn't matter as much. Oh, we are about to start a forest fire. She does not care. Oh boy! In all fairness, it's, it's at least get the um, up, the other guys Also, attention. I need to walk my dog, It's going to get attention, yes. Ooh, this is... Okay. Oh, let's see. We have those three who need to roll. Pass, right? That's a pass. Um, you. Holy crap, that's a pass. Uh, and you. Fail. Wow. None of them rolled below 20. Okay. Jeez. What? So, uh, they take okay, 15. I, I accept they have proficiency. I accept they have decent decks. But I am... You should literally not be able to have above a 15 DC save at this point. Uh, uh, this one rolled a, a natural 16, natural 19, natural 19. That's uh, what the rolls are. I, I'm not doubting it. I'm just utterly furious because this is every time I use a save ability. Go on, carry on. <laughs> that's, that's why I hate using saves with uh, with my caster as well. Uh, Send so the dice. Yeah. Uh, but still, they was, take a huge chunk of damage. If it was uh, an attacking ability, I would have lost overall because I would have rolled low, low, and low. So, uh, that's your turn. Do you have a bonus? Uh, she doesn't really have anything she can do as a Just... bonus, I don't believe, because I was expecting that three fucking people were not going to fail a DC 17 save. Karen. 
Uh, what's your effect on your transmitter stone? Is it con saves? Uh, I think that's what I last left it at. Let me double check. She can't change it now anyway. Right. I cast calm emotions on silver. Thank you. I needed that. <laughs> uh, actually, no, it's speed up. Speed up, so you, you have a plus 10 speed? Yeah, so she's at 40 movement okay. speed right now. So she's actually going to... Wrong thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Complete with Zoidberg noises. All right. Uh, Koaku, as you're there, you see behind you, uh, as you're running that way, there is what appears to be a hunter's rack, and there's a freshly killed deer there. Matilda, you're up. Go. Okay. Go double check which level I am now. Right, seven, so that's uh, to take that off. Right then, I am writing up with. Jeeves, what was the werewolf? What did the werewolf have? Cold. From what? Let's see. What wolf? What? What? The guy at our feet. You know what I'm <laughs> on about. Don't play dumb. Uh, it cold, didn't it? Yes. Right, yeah, okay. I'm having I can lightning. confirm it's cold. I'm like, having lightning. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm equipping um, the lightning sword. Okay. I never leave. Luckily, I never leave home without Bertha. Okay. And what, um, level, what level cure wounds, Leo? Is it just one? Okay. okay. All right. Go ahead, Matilda. And I'm splashing down at that guy twice. Roll again. I've done it, done it twice, haven't I? Yes. I only saw the second one for some reason because I'm blind. All right. And it was so, uh, just, uh, I just press it like straight away. That's a fair amount of damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay put where I am. Does not appear to be undead. No, but it's lightning damage, so it, it, it's not doing that anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Uh, do you have a bonus? No, I had to use my bonus, bonus right. I used bonus to write up. Yep, yeah. okay. See Allah's turn. See Allah. Also gets her sheet out. Why did I not get it out when I caught Akos? Or Nash was. My good. All right, uh, Ciela is going to come up here and smack on a thing that's lying on the ground. That should be a hit, right? That's Thank a hit. God. Thank God for advantage. Um, and yeah, and just deals six piddly damage. Also, if you want to know why, I could. <coughs> it, why I want to know if it did cold, because I couldn't remember it had it cold resistance yet. All right. Uh, this last one, last enemy that you guys haven't seen act yet. It's going to down a potion. It is not going to down a potion. <sighs> Traitor! It's <laughs> going to down a potion. <laughs> it's going to dash forward. Oh, what's your speed? Yeah, your speed's high enough. It's going to go up here, and it's going to attack uh, Ikaya. And Ikaya, you see that uh, with in her right hand, she's holding what appears to just be a hilt. And as soon as she starts swinging, the the hilt extends into this long, bright blade uh, that gives off a little bit of light. I'm familiar with the weapon. Forward. This is the weapon known as the Sunblades. <laughs> um, and she is going to attack with it twice. Man, your AC is just high enough. And she she just bounces off your armor both times. <laughs> she, she appears to be fairly frustrated with this fact, though. Uh, She's about to get a lot more frustrated, trust me. Make her as frustrated as you possibly can. Okay. Leonidas' turn. Leo is going to step forward to... He said Nashua, right? Nashua is going to cast Cure Wounds. Uh, Silver, can you get that for me? Please? Uh, I'll get up his thing to cast Cure Wounds. Give me a moment. Thank you. I've only got a, a billion one. tabs open. Yeah, I'm assuming yeah level it's level one. one. So... Cure Wounds. Cast it. Cast it. 
Okay. Why can't I get good rolls? Eh, that's a that's a mediocre roll. Okay. Um, all right. So it is now Croc's turn. He is going to step over here and is going to attack at Nashua. No, Nashua. Who appears to be the only person easily visible. Okay. And is going to... Ooh. Yes. Okay. That is going to hit. Uh, and that is going to hit. So she takes... 21, 24 damage. <laughs> and uh, she does not appear to be looking very well right now. Um, Alright, so she also needs to do a con save, which she passes, and it is now this person's turn, she stands up from prone. So many buttons to hit. Come on. Bet she looks like crap. She is not looking very good at all. Um, she is pretty much almost done as at right now. Uh, let's see, where is she? This one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I still have no idea any of this is happening. Correct. Nope. All right. Um, she is this going really to... This really needs music. <laughs> it does. It does. Dun, 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 Please no. She is going to attack Leonidas <laughs> using... Does she want to use her bonus action? She's going to use her bonus action. Uh, to use Blood Curse of the Marked on Leonidas. Uh, Alright, and is going to deal 8 plus. A lot of damage. Let me just type it up. 8 plus, 8 plus. I'm going to hit twice, dealing 31 damage to Leonidas. It's now Nashua's turn. Nashua is going to blah, 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 get her sheet open. There it is. And is going to attack the uh, the lady in front of Ikaya because she feels like you guys have the other one in hand pretty easily. Comma, comma. Blah, blah. Um, blah, 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 blah. Miss, miss, miss. Come on. She's going to miss. Everything missed. Everything missed. Uh, she didn't try uh, and get advantage. <laughs> I already rolled. I was thinking about it after I rolled, but Ikai, you're up. Alright, I'm going to cast <laughs> Blindness Deafness. Specifically the blindness part at level 3, which means I can target two people at 30 foot range, and I'm targeting her and him. Croc? Okay, yep. Crook Maga. All right, so con save. That's a fifteen, so just barely a pass. Blech. And that is a seventeen. Ugh, damn it! Uh, as a bonus action, I am going to cast Healing Word at level one on Leonidas. Okay. <laughs> I've got that HP. Okay, so this guy's turn now. He is going to step back a little further, because he can. He has all of the range. Actually, what is the range on this? Okay. Right. Okay, so uh, he is going to cast this. Plenty of range on that. On on uh, Ikaya, that is going to hit 
chill touch. Uh, you take seven damage. You cannot be healed until this guy's next turn. And you have disadvantage on attacks against him, which you probably won't do anyways. Nope. <laughs> and he is also, as a bonus action, going to shoot with his longbow and deal um, 10, 12 damage. So you take a total of 19 damage there. Yep, I've applied it. Kohaku, you're up. That's 30 feet, or no, 35 to there. That's that's all she needs. Grabbing the bitch. Yes! Which one? Yes! Which one? Uh, good point, because okay. the werewolf would technically ascribe <laughs> that word better. Um, the one that's not surrounded. Alright. Stonefist, uh, strength save, or 11 damage, and restrained. Okay. So, hopefully... I think this person has low strength, let me see. Uh, not super low. Rolls a 21. Well, the fist <laughs> is still there, at least. Why do yep. I even try save abilities? I don't know. Uh, I hey. hate save abilities. You no, know, save I'm abilities are right bad. Now. You're just rolling amazing, and that's the problem. I'm rolling against you. I'm not trying to roll <laughs> my own thing against the... It's just who's rolling the save, and... That's like rolling against a 17 AC, and you just don't care. You should be getting a lot more than just... I should be getting at least yeah. one. All right, well, ideally, ideally, at least one person should have been burnt, a, blinded, uh, or grappled. Yeah, throw down yeah. a uh, token to show that I have a stone fist on the square behind her. Okay. I was about to go look up an icon for a stone fist. Totally, you're right. <laughs> you're right. So I'm sorry, my brother just dunk something. Um. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to stab the werewolf. Okay. I'm just going to stab it once because I want to see what happens. Okay, as you, uh, as you reach forward to stab her, she uses a curse, uh, blood curse of the eyeless. However, it doesn't help, and she's dead. It imposes disadvantage uh, on your weapon attack, but yeah, just just that one. Yes, just the one. Thank God. Also, uh, home, home field advantage, my friends. Home field advantage. <laughs> yeah, she is. She is. Uh, she is deaded, or at least downed. Oh, is she? Mm. Let's see. Uh, I don't think anyone could technically heal. Right then. I can't go there because the stone fist is there because that's occupying it. Mm. This is going to be a bit nuts. I'm going to charge. I'm going to charge Croc. Here's my second one. I'm going to roll lucky. Okay. Okay. Uh, that one hits. I'm taking the damage from the first one. Oh yeah. Side coming, I forgot to say at the time I was gonna change what the stone did. Alright, I'm back. Okay, I'm um back. then can I get a small recap? Uh fighting happened. Uh you yeah. killed, you killed the werewolf one below you, and other than that, uh not much major. Did we happened. get hit with a spell by any chance? Um not not yet. Not really. I don't think so, not yet. <laughs> Alright. The only just... spell that anyone's been hit with is that I currently have chill touch and can't be healed till the uh till the guy in the back's next turn. Okay, Jeeves? Yep. I'm going to blind Croc and I'm going to amplify it. Okay. Uh, so you take your two damage. Uh, amplify, size increases to huge. Curse is ongoing. Strength save. Okay, so uh, strength save. And he rolled a 20. Yeah, I'm going to guess by that side. He rolled a natural 20. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I'm not Fuck, surprised. This is this is really <laughs> silly at this point. Even a even even a rogue. Show us your oh. dice. <laughs> a I, I, I could if you really wanted me to, but no, don't. Uh, Ciala's up. 
And she is going to... She can stand on top of that rock, right? Can she? She's What's that rock around like? it. Uh, no, but it does well, like go, uh, Yeah. Well, yeah. Guys, I'm in trouble. I'll say it's still there. Okay. Um, she's going to attack this lady person thing. Um, so many tabs. So many tabs. Let's see how, uh, Wham. Bam. Thank you, ma'am. And get on the floor and That would have been nice. She does get sneak attack because someone is within five feet of her opponent. Except she misses all three. Wow. Good job, Ciala. Yeah, you have good DCs and amazing saves, apparently. Uh, ACs. I'm... That's what I meant, yes. Yeah. I'll say it with something bigger. They're, they're essentially... Player we're, characters. Yeah, their player characters we're fighting. We have the advantage because we outnumber them, and I'm assuming levels are similar. Mm -hmm. It's just because they're player characters, they also guaranteedly have some proficiency in a save, and whether or not we're hitting those proficiencies doesn't seem to be mattering with what they roll. Yep. Um, this this one here is going to cast Cure Wounds on the one who is down. God damn it. Cure Wounds is <sighs> such almost a killing word. Yeah, you can. Uh, it is touched, so she can't get to it. Okay, you're yeah. right. Sorry, thank you. Uh, it was going to cast Hunter's Mark, then, on Ikaya. Oh, goody. They won't be dead. Yeah. I wonder why. <laughs> As her attacks, going to use the Sunblade. Spoilers. On Ikaya. You know, that would be a definitely great thing to filch from them. Oh, absolutely. That if it Black Rock is trying to grapple her. That's why there's a stone um, fist trying to grab her, but doing an amazing job of it. <laughs> oh, so that's the one with the fist full of arrows. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a stone fist, which came out of the ground, but it passed another save, surprising no one. Yep. Uh, Alright, so that first one's going to hit, dealing 13 radiant damage plus... Oh, it's a good thing five, she's focusing down Matilda. Five Hunter's Mark, and I forgot the Colossus Slayer damage as well, so that I'm is... probably going down. Seven damage, so uh, 25 total damage yep. there. I'm still standing. But wait, there's more. That's um, what I was waiting for. <laughs> nope, that, that's, uh, that's her... Oh wait, she does have two strikes, because it's an attack. Alright, the second oh, one... Yeah. Second one misses. misses. Thank God. All Leo, right. You're up. Leo is healing Ikaya. Khan can't because the uh, chill touch. You need to wait. To, you need to wait till someone else's turn. turn. Uh, the the distant one's turn. It comes up. Are you this guy's turn? Jeeves, I really hate you right now. Mm -hmm. All right. So, how am I going to do this? How do you want to do this? I. You can't just invoke it like that. <laughs> yeah, I referenced it. <laughs> yeah, you can get around him. Um, that'll, yeah. that'll be an attack of opportunity, but you can get around him. I'm Leonidas. I don't give a fuck. I'm going here. Okay. You uh, take this person has an attack of opportunity. Damage. Yep. I have 22 AC. Uh, hits 22. It is a 22. Uh, so you take 9 damage. Fine. Oh, I'll take the out. 9 damage. Class and... of Slayer only goes once per turn, luckily. Good. All right. And Leo will... Uh, he will... Attack? Really, Leo? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, why is this... Why, is, why does it have my warding on there? I don't know. Go to your aura warding on your class page. Uh, go to All the right. more options and remove it from your attacks. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. He wait. probably replaced the uh, curse with that. Guys, this guys, this simile becomes an orphan. I'm coming back to haunt you. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Hold on, I'm not finished. Oh, you're not done? You have a bonus? <laughs> yeah, I have d two actions. I mean, two attacks. Oh, okay. There we go. And, oh, you hit that one. And I will use my bonus action to uh, shove, knocking him prone because shield master. So that's save on that? the athletics competition. Well, okay. yeah. He's a rogue. Athletics. He's a rogue. 
Is it athletics or athletics or acrobatics? Uh, well, I believe it is. I believe it is an athletics competition. It's under shelving. I know for Leonidas, it, it definitely is athletics. Good luck beating a twenty-six, though. Don't mock him. Rolled a thirty. You roll I will a take a screenshot if you want. He rolled a thirty. Oh! Do not mock him. He has passed every save he has been called upon. Yep. Fine. <laughs> Fine. This okay. is why I just start fudging the rolls. <laughs> and this is why PC versus PC is crap. <laughs> it's not that. It's not it, that. It, it's not the PC. Like that's hurting us a little bit. But it's more that he has not rolled badly for any save effect. Okay, so he is going to be attacking Matilda with his turn. Yep. Uh, turns going down. <laughs> Nashua takes one damage. Yep. From what? Poison. Oh. From some ongoing f effect. You're not sure what it is. Uh, and Matilda, you take 19 damage. Great. Slam them. Halved. Halved, but now Akaya is down and the spell wars off. Okay. Yeah. Um, Ikaya. So I'm going to do half of that. So 19 divided by 2 is, is 9. You take 9 damage, and that particular 9 damage cannot be healed until a short or long rest. Uh, Matilda, sake. 10 damage uh, cannot be healed until a short or long rest. Uh, plus, yeah. you take an additional... Yeah, because I'm bleeding now. You take an additional 3 poison damage. Roll a con save. She gets the boost from Leo's aura. Yep. Which means it's pretty much an automatic pass. Yeah, you pass. Um, if you didn't have the boost, you would have failed. Okay. I would have I, I was playing the wrong lucky for a minute there. Yeah, you pass. You pass on that. Um, remember, you get plus four, so 16 beats most uh, DCs at this level. Besides from Kohaku. Okay, that is his turn, and he is going to... He is going to back away, taking an attack of opportunity from whomever. Both of them. Um, Leo, Leo will take that. Okay. I will take that. Uh, Leo, roll. Okay, so that's a miss from Leo. That's a hit, so that's 12, 13 Cr damage. Crunch. Okay. How's, how's, how's the weakling little rogue look he, as he's running away? He is not doing super well. You guys so are putting in the work. I'm going in for him, okay? I'm, uh, I, can, I think I can stop him from moving, guys. This uh, werewolf has uh, a past so he passed, death save. Um, question, he passed whatever strength save Matilda forced him to make with the blood curse? Yeah, he made yeah, it. Yeah, that was a natural 20, I believe. I, I thought that no, the natural 20 was against you. But he, he passed that save to you. My one, my I one was to blind. bring it up, because that's why Matilda put it on there. My one was to oppose disadvantage in all his attacks, but he passed it because he can also pass strength. Yeah. Um, Alright, so uh, the werewolf has passed a death save. Okay. Uh, Nashua is going to step forward. Nashua. We also um, can't, we may want to kind of put down that woman before she uses cure wounds on the werewolf. All right, uh, that might do it. Let me see. Actually, probably not, not a kill, but yeah. Let me see. We have five, fifteen, twenty-five. Open palm. Open palm. Uh, open palm. Open palm. So her class stuff, yeah. Uh, she's going to attempt to knock prone and get rid of reactions. So let's see, this one's a strength save. That's the pass, and she cannot take reactions. No reactions. Okay. Ikaya, roll death save. Oh no, he stabilizes automatically. That, the oh yeah, that's right. Carry out to the uh, wind coast, right? You're right. Alright, you are stabilized, but not awake. Yep. I hate those natural one death saves. All right, <laughs> uh, it is now the guys in the back. Death comes for Ikaya. You know this. So <laughs> Ikaya can now be healed at this point. So this guy is going to. 
Uh, cast Eldritch Blast. And he is going to target Matilda. In Warlock. It's gonna oh, hit resistance. You're gonna roll. You're gonna roll luck. So he I've got. Doesn't have resistance. No, have resistance Matilda has resistance. It's a spell because Whoop. she's in Leo's order or oh, warding. Right. So you're gonna you're gonna make him re-roll. Uh, no, one of his no, 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 no. You. No, I, I know what you're saying, Leo. Uh, Matilda said lucky. You want him to re-roll one? I, of did, his I didn't say lucky. You didn't. Okay, lucky I thought you did. Came out. No. Right. The hell were you listening to? I don't know. I'm I'm hearing a lot of stuff. Okay, so you take uh, seven damage divided by two, is three damage. Um, plus, he's gonna pull out his longbow and shoot you as a bonus for seven damage. Uh, Leo, does your warding does that affect spell like abilities or just spells? Just spells, unfortunately. Okay. That's what I thought. Just want to make sure. Kohaku, you're up. All right. Question. Can she stand on Akaya? I will allow this. <laughs> yes. Oh, my. Yeah, he's, he's prone. I'll She's say yes. in the way. She's, of course, I'm going to move you to the front. have her half off so that they're kind of not completely there. So she's going to move in the way. Mm-hmm. Um, and she is going to fail to have that fist grab the thing again. Okay, uh, 17 DC? Yeah. 17 DC? Strength, right? Strength. Yep. Yeah. Please fail one. Does prone affect that? Yeah, that's a disadvantage, right? I don't know what prone does to it off the top of my head, and that is the one... It would just say it's a disadvantage. She fails that one, so she... Uh, <laughs> she passed so it. She he will be... It. Seriously, game. All right, so she is... <laughs> Restrained and will take. Technically, oh, yeah. it would have been the second one. I can get rid of that second air, second damage roll. So it's five wanna, damage, right? It would technically be the five damage one instead of the four. I'm going to get rid of the one since it's the same damage roll, regardless of whether it's when the spell comes out or when she uses it after the effect. All right. Uh, make sure you stay half on save for the second one. All right. So she takes five crushing damage. Mm -hmm. That's your action. Uh, yep, that'll be her action. Um, she doesn't really have a bonus or anything. Actually, so wait, that would be... I'm going to take the five damage anyways, but that would be to restrain her at this point, right? She is restrained. Okay, so she is restrained. But she still takes damage from being restrained as well, with the initial right. restraint. Yep. Uh, so do you have a bonus action? I don't believe she has a bonus action she can Look take. Look her in the eye! I, I, if she had a bonus action she could take, yes. I don't think she has one she can take, though. Okay, Matilda's turn. Well, if I don't make it, Lion, <laughs> that's me, I love her. Because I'm charging, I'm charging the rogue. Alright, I'm going to charge the rogue, and I'm going to slash two more times. Oh, oh don't call beautiful. Yeah, I think those are good. Jeebus? I think that you have knocked him down. Let's see, 18. Yeah, he is downed with that second attack. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Garland would be proud of you. I want to use my curse again. I want to use my curse again, but on the okay. ranger this time. You know, the uh, bottom of the bow and arrow. The guy in the back? Profane soul. I'm just going to say it now. Okay. Uh, so which curse are you using? I'm using the blindness one again. I'm going to invoke it. So okay. do you want to just roll that all again? Is that the second time you've used your curse? Yes, so I'll be out after this. Alright. Yeah, so, roll again, please. Yeah, it's going to be eyeless. Oh, I'm it. Oh, I actually... I pressed the wrong one at that, 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 that time. You did uh, well, look, we we'll say I tried to stiffen him that one time, so... <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, right, you're so... out of range. Sure, you, yeah. are, you are out of range. She was getting Inus mixed up with blindness, and then blindness mixed up with blindness. Um, Crap. I'm going to be nice and say you didn't expend that, because you're out of range. Okay. I'll be nice. 
Next time I won't be nice. Uh, can I? You will be nice. Don't lie. I can't. I, don't, I can't do anything else as a bonus action. You really, can keep can moving forward. Uh, you only did like twenty feet of movement, but I don't think you're gonna be within range. No, I'll be five out. So I might as well. Crap. No, because dash is an action as well, isn't it? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Unfortunately. You might as well. Why can't I? Why can't I? Why can't I stomp in the guy's face? <laughs> you can. Your next turn. Uh, see Alice turn? Uh, jeez, I'm, I'm actually just gonna move up closer anyway. Okay. Yeah, Ciala might want to, I don't know, get rid of that girl. Yep, Ciala's gonna attempt to get rid of that girl. She has advantage regardless. And is going to attack. Yeah. I, really, I really hope Akai isn't gonna be mad at me for the next, for the next actions. Advantage, so that's a hit. 15. 25, 29 damage, and this one is down. Good. And also restrained for some reason. Okay. All right. Uh, that one's down. She has to do a death save. And I don't have... I've got to write that out because this is not a player sheet, and I don't know why they don't allow you to do player sheets just... Be Whispered, that is a pass. Leonidas, you're up. And do that to Owl. Um, I, we'll have to talk about that later. Uh, Leo, you're up. Um, hmm. Oh, player sheet, no. No. Yeah. Yeah, I wish you could just show it to one person. All you can really do is let one person see it and say, Hey, check, check this sheet, please. So, Croc's about... Uh, if Croc gets a... Natural 20, he gets back immediately, but this one already has one save. You have two of the save, one with nothing. A reminder that Akaya is unconscious. Stable, stable, though. He is stable. Okay. So basically, I'm sleeping for the rest of this fight. Got ya. Possibly, because we don't want these people to get back up. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, may, I may actually just put Croc down here and now. I kinda wanted him alive, but I guess that's not happening, so that's fine. It's, uh, it's, I'm, I'll consider it, but I don't want him getting yeah. back up. Do what yeah, we do, do not want him getting back up, and we most definitely do not want these people getting back up. So, Leonidas is actually going to backtrack, and he is going to attack? I want you guys to know that I'm, I'm charging a person with a bow and arrow right now by myself in nothing but <laughs> clothing. Yeah... We know. We know. If I, if I That's die, the I worst you. part. <sighs> I've already moved back, so I can't <laughs> take back my act. <sighs> I hate you. <laughs> Jeeves, can I, can I move back to assist do, Matilda do, instead? Do what you want. Do what you want. I'm just saying, there are repercussions for your actions, maybe. <laughs> um, you have used part, part of your movement. Fuck. Alright. Sorry, Matilda. It's, DM rules. It's fine. All right. I, I now see. So what I'm, you, I, I'm actually I, gonna. No, I'm gonna put down the werewolf because I hate werewolves. These are <laughs> these attacks are with advantage. So one. And I'm at a crit, so uh, mark that as a critical. Oh, so that means that's two already. No, you, you get actually two. have to do a natural crit to have two of death fails, but yep. you do the extra damage, and if you do enough damage, you can instantly kill them regardless. I don't yeah, think right. you can do enough damage to instantly kill them regardless unless you pop like a crit level 2 smite and everything maxed out. Yeah, that that wouldn't have uh, killed it. All right, so go ahead and roll and your second. I have one. Yeah, one more. Would damage from divine smite that counts as part of the uh, the attack, yeah. And it's automatic critical. Okay. But that's already two fail. I mean, four fails with those two attacks, isn't it? No, that's just no. Two. It needs to be an actual crit, an actual crit in order for it to be two si fails. Uh, Otherwise, fair killing enough. people who are down would be too incredibly easy. Yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Right. Well, Leonidas only has two attacks, so and uh, well, shield bashing doesn't do anything else, regardless. Yeah, yeah, it has to be a one-shot of all of their HP. Yeah, alright. Yeah, that's his turn, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, this guy is going to roll. Croc gets back up and stabs Matilda in the spine. 
that's passed. I don't think they have failed anything. No, I don't think so either. Don't worry, I, be, I'm going to make Kohaku be, be brutal in this next turn. <laughs> I'm wasting the level 3 spell no. on this, but I don't care. The werewolf rolled a 10. <laughs> if it were one lower, it would be fail and she would be dead. She rolled a 10. No, two passes, two fails. Ah, no, I Don't can't worry, kill her. Yeah. Next week you'll be in my session, and all of my units will roll fails, and you'll steamroll through my encounter, because that's how it works. No, uh, no I don't have magic just like you do what I wanted me. to do. Stop sending walkers after me. God magic. damn it, Silver. Magic this is why work. we pack... This it's is like magic missile it. is typically not that useful. Or if you want to hit, like, I prefer other things, but in this situation... Oh, Bolt, you're now dead. Three bolts, you're dead. Yeah, wherever Two I bolts, am. You're dead. And wherever yeah. I am, I take I can't hear anything, right? No, you're you're way, way you're still making arrows. I figured, yeah. Um, this is all right. fine. This guy is going to do his thing. Uh what do we have here? Okay. And this one is Okay, yes. Okay. I can't. That's the wrong button. I just didn't prepare it, which is my only problem. <laughs> um. What's our range? Probably already chromatic orb at this point. Where does that put him? Yes. Uh, he is going to cast Shatter. Oh. Oh, boy. Good thing they are all inside my aura. <gasps> you don't right. even have to counterspell. I mean... What's the range on counterspell? 60 at least. Let me double check. I, I don't care that I don't need to. I don't... Um, I'm just basically spiting this guy. If it's 60, you're out of range. Okay, so mm -hmm. I can't stop it. Carry on. All right. If it's uh, 60, we it should 60. check. I can't stop it. Yeah, All right. just barely out of range. Oh, that was not but... planned. That was his max movement. So, <laughs> yeah. by uh, the way, Shatter... you just helped your allies fail. Yes, I know. Uh, so that will... means so that means they don't care about each other. That one's she dead. Is... She is done. Uh, he has an automatic fail. automatic fail. All yeah, right, so everyone roll a everyone uh, Kohaku, Leonidas, Siala, um, and Ikaya. You have. I automatically fail because I'm unconscious. Yes, that's right. A con save is not an auto fail if you're unconscious. Um, Strength or dex would be right. It, she's right. So roll it, boy. Roll it. Go ahead and roll. Uh, all four of you. Um, okay. Um, Remember, Leonice always has his bonus on him, so he actually yeah. failed that. Um, you, have a plus, yeah, this, you have a plus four, Leo. No, nope, that's added into his scores already. Oh, uh, okay. He rolled a yeah. five. Yeah, as the side yeah. comment, in case it got washed away, I did change the stone to con saves when I cast the fist. Okay. okay. Thank you. I heard that you changed it, but I didn't hear what you changed it to. Yeah, I changed it to the con saves. All right, so the DC is 15. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, Siala fails. Um, and Leonidas fails. Leonidas fails. That's uh, okay. So Everyone still gets resistance to this, regardless. You, you two take six thunder damage. Oh no! Yeah, uh, and Not the people three. who passed, which is the rest of you, you take three. Um, Ikaya, you have a death fail. So you're back into saves, but but you still work. stabilize. He stabilizes and at the start of his turn. Turn, Since yes. I take damage. Oh no, I kept my spell. My concentration. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, that's yeah. also with Leonidas' bonus. <laughs> Goaku, you're up. Alright, at this point, Goaku is going to run oh, around. Oh, wait. Um, sorry to interrupt again, but doesn't Shadow have another effect? Like, a pushing effect or something? No. Or uh, am I going no, crazy? Uh, of never mind. Inorganic... Inorganic things have disadvantage. Unworn objects are damaged, etc. You're thinking of Thunder Wave. I yes, think. I am thinking of Thunder Wave. Yeah. So as Kuaku is going to run off that way, she's just going to lift her hand up and clench it and do damage to the uh, downed rogue. Yep. No! <laughs> uh, is that the third fail? No. I think it'd he be isn't. the second. 
Yeah. Well, the rogue? The rogue hasn't had any. Or, no, not the rogue. The uh, the one that scrappled the bitch. The not the rogue. Oh, the, ranger. <laughs> the, other bitch. The, the ranger. She, the, the she ranger. took one the from the shadow. She took one from the hand. Did yeah, someone so attack that's her? Two. That's two. Yeah, two. Uh, do, you have a, do you have a bonus? I don't believe there's anything I can use as a bonus. All right, Matilda, you're up. Uh, do, 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 do. What is the Kai's initiative order? She, she, oh, that, she, that is like. Oh no, I can step there. I can step there. Yeah. Yeah. It, I want to show because of the shrubbery. Yeah, there appears to be a shrubbery, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I like to say, if, I like to tell you, friend, but you're playing. For, you're playing for my new brows. <laughs> and I am going to stab him and cut him like a fish. I'm going to cut him like fish. Like a Swedish Go ahead, dude. Uh, don't I don't I get something because of my oh, savage attacker once per turn? You can. I oh, think no. you already got that in there. I think. I thought I had there. someone else for. Crit. Oh, savage attacker. Yeah. Oh, uh, she. Crits, crits she are crit. already in there. Crits are already oh, in there. Yeah. She so, just mutilated him. This guy is down. Louis. They are all He's... down. Oh, James, you couldn't let me. You couldn't even let me have. How do you want to do it? How would you like uh, to do it? <laughs> I'm good. Jeeves, if I could have, I would have knocked him to the ground, I would have stabbed the lightning sword in and just te make, um, lit him up like a light bulb. <laughs> I, want to, <laughs> sure. I want to turn so, him into ash with lightning. So, as you as you smack it right through the center of his neck, you pu uh, push him to the ground, and then you have a surge of energy as you push your hand to the hilt, your offhand to the hilt, and you just course lightning through his entire body, and he involuntarily convulses for a good five seconds. Uh, Ciala's turn. She's going to punch does, this does one. She, does she have extra attack? She should have. That was the extra attack. Mm -hmm. She's going to punch this one for the third fail. Going to come up here and knock him three times for a fail. No, don't, oh, don't kill him. Don't kill him. He's dead. Really? Oh, you mean she just flurried a bloat and just wrecked his day, in other yep. words? Yeah, for God's sake. <sighs> well, really? <laughs> this Leo's is going to be a really expensive interrogation. Leo's up. Uh, all right. I mean, we're safe, so... God damn it, Ciala. Ah, screw it. I'll use a spell. Cure Wounds, level 1, coming right up. So much like Jeeves didn't want us to talk to the oh, guy. Right, of course. Oh, That's on Akaya. Get up. I'm up. Reacting initiative, still? Uh, there's one last person in death saves. Okay. So Nashua's going to look up to Matilda and say, should I do it? <sighs> A person I would like the pleasure, but go ahead, my dear. She's going to look back at the rest of you. Are, are you sure? We can't leave on any survivors. If he goes uh, to get help. The only one worth what watching happens? has already been killed. Nashua, Nashua's gonna step back. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't do it. Not when yeah. he's down. I'll, I'll do it for you. Ikaya's turn. Uh, uh, are they? Where is he? Where is that bastard? See, I was just, dead see, already. I was, see, I was just beat into a pope, like an idiot. I. So I sprint up to him. I look down, and I'm just. From my turn, I'm thinking. I'm not actually going to... Uh, I think for a moment, see that this guy's still breathing or whatever. Um, that would be a dash at the very least. Oh, yeah, that's right, it would be a dash. Um, yeah, so I pretend to do that, but I don't. He would have been dead. <laughs> he would have definitely been dead. Can we uh, can we hit enter, please? Thank you. Another past death save for him. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, just in general. Uh, for for the guy who's down. 
Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. So she can move there. That'll still be in range there. And then she's going to move it over with her action and have it grapple this guy. That's going to deal damage. Yep. Okay. And restrain uh, him. Can it, can it move 30 feet? It or can, 60 feet? Whenever the, let, me, let me double read. Mm-hmm. Maximates earth and grasp. Where is it? Here it is. I think it's only 20 as feet. An action, as an action, you can move, that, or you can cause the hand to reach to a different creature or to move to an unoccupied spot, um, space within range. So it's just within range of the spell. Oh, that's nice. So that's I moved it basically one like it, to the other. It sinks into the earth and reappears. Yeah, that's actually much better than I thought it was in okay. terms of movement. So what is it grappling? The, the uh, guy who's down. The dude. Which and is an automatic fail. Was he, was, um, was he on at the moment? The save was? Just the one. One <laughs> fail, yeah. Point, one fail, one success. Point. One fail, one success. <sighs> my, turn, my turn then, Silver. Yeah, that's all she can do. But Silver is least she's gonna sigh. And keep in mind that she basically has the hand holding it up as a target dummy at this point. Yeah, no, as at this point, Matilda just sighs, places the electrical the electrical um, sword to the top of the guy's head and just waits for his brain to fry. Because that prote- I never can as two attacks. You have to actually hit him. I'm sorry, but you do. <laughs> she has advantage on it, so it's not going to be that hard. You never know. I will use I... Lucky if I fail, fail any of these. <sighs> Zap. Does... His brain turns to mush. That I'm second go- one's actually a miss. Oh, I think I'm gonna use was. Lucky. Can I just use Lucky and just get this You said you were going to, so sure. That one's still a miss. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't throw my uh, headset. <laughs> See how it comes up. Should we keep one alive? No, you already killed. No, you already you bloody killed, killed the, the one, one that's matters. important. So you're just gonna punch him. And I assume at least one of those four will beat his AC, so he's down. <laughs> Seattle, yeah, we'll Seattle, kind of release the Seattle, gonna, fist to let him drop to the ground. Seattle, we're going to need a bloody talk about your action just there. Keep in mind that Alto couldn't control, so don't throw hold yeah. it against him. Well, I'm holding, I'm holding it's it against, not against you. It's against you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, are we still in initiative? I'm so no. I'm sorry, Jeeves, but as the character, because the character did it, the character gets the blame. I walk up to his corpse. I reach into my pack and I pull out. Well, I reach to my back and uh, to my back and uh, kind of pull out my rope, and then in my pack and I pull out a satchel of diamond dust, and I just kind of sit there for a moment. Is it really worth something that could save one of our lives? What do you guys think I should do? I'll say Sierra should have to pay you back for the diamond dust. <laughs> Nashua shakes her head. He's not worth it. He really isn't. He is, well, I, is his information I, worth it? I want to know why he had two bloody. I want to know why he had two blood hunters with him. We could probably find that out on ourselves if we head deeper in. But yeah. was any of them from your order? No. Uh, I'll ask your order when we get there. And she kind of looked back. There was a hunting rack back there. Is that important? It looked like there was a freshly killed deer. Do, do I, know? I put away the diamond dust and the rope. Jeeves, I know about the hunting rack, yeah. And uh, I then start searching his corpse. The hunting rack is... That's just something nearby the uh, the building. It's, uh... Yeah, it, it is important. It, it's basically saying you're nearby. Okay, right, I'm just gonna start... I'm, I'm just gonna start pillaging these two over here. Yeah, as a reminder, All right, um, I'm searching... Pro- I'm searching Crocs, Crocs. Going to release the um, the fist. Going to throw out an animal from the bag of tricks. Cool. Cool boar. All right. So you. Where did I? I? Where there it is. Okay. You get a boar. All right. Boar. And she's gonna tell the boar since I can't control it. Um, if anyone approaches, growl. 
And she's right, gonna, so like, gonna... No, like mention every, everyone here that they're okay if anyone else approaches Growl, and then she's gonna go over and um, examine the woman. Where do you want to stand, stand watch? I uh, kind of. She'll probably have a stand watch down towards more where Ciel is. So over in this area, okay. I guess Leonidas will take up rear area, guard yeah. at this rate. Yeah. Make sure no one decides to follow from behind. All right. So you guys. Uh, I'm going to assume that you're searching all four of them. Yes. I'll open up party okay. and handle party loot shenanigans. Um, you get a lot of stuff. So. Well, I hope so. No shit. <laughs> party loot. Party, party loot. loot. I'll handle party, party loot. loot. Thank you, dear. Okay, so um, you have you find on uh, this guy up here some very fried half plate. It doesn't really no. appear to be of. Uh, it appears that you kind of destroyed the crap out of it. Yep. Um, there's also a longbow, just a, a standard longbow. Okay. Um, and nothing else of any interest on him. Uh, these these guys are all carrying their own personal identifications. This guy's name is Albrecht. Someone else want to keep track of their names? Albrecht. The one next to Leo and Matilda. Her name is Frida. Uh, she is also wearing half plate. However, again, this one seems to have been destroyed in your attacks. And other than that, she doesn't have anything on her. So, okay. so Jeeves, I've got to ask a question. What type of wear was she? Was she wear fish, wear snake, wear badger? <laughs> uh, as she, as she had died, as she died, it's obvious that she's a uh, canine Kersian. Okay. Mm. Um, so I can get rid of that one. Okay, the one next to Kohaku, her name is Andraste. Uh, she's got a breastplate on. Oh no, we... Oh no, we killed Andraste. Oh no, the maker's going to be upset. Um, mm -hmm. Her name is, is Andraste. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. <laughs> she has a mm. sunblade and a longsword that I don't think she ever really attacked with. Okay. Uh, so just put question mark longsword and just say from Andraste. And let's see... Last what one was Croc. Where's me, Manny? Croc appears to no longer have that gun on him that he had before. Um, I wonder why. I wonder bloody why. <laughs> you do find uh, 10 EP on him. Uh, EP a plus one like studded, that? plus one studded leather armor. That's actually nice. A poison dagger. Uh, this inflicts uh, poison damage instead of piercing, and uh, has a DC of 13 to um, inflict the poison to resist status. actual poison status. Yeah, and a another dagger that you can assume is a dagger of wounding. Oh, right. From the wounds that you took from it, uh, you can. Question mark. Yeah, you can tell that you're not healing from this, uh, from these attacks. Uh, basically, you need a natural rest in order to heal. And there's also a belt of returning on him. I'm going to have to identify that. Dagger, 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 dagger. You could tell oh, when he no, threw... I can tell what that is now. That makes sense. You could tell when he threw his daggers that they appeared right back at his side. Oh. Interesting. Uh -oh. All right. Probably, uh, we'll pro properly identify I just all handle, that later. handle I just, those. All right, I saved. I handle the crux stuff to Kohaku. Yeah, I saved everything. It's currently in the party loot. It's in a little separate area. I'm figuring we're gonna not care about the half plates, but we can identify everything else of note when we come down to it. And mm -hmm. despite the fact that we know what a sunblade does, I'm going to identify it and make sure I identify it. Because that may have been what screwed us over with the tentacle rod. <laughs> I, I honestly don't remember if I did identify it or not. Are you going to do that right now? I wouldn't want to do it right now because we're still out in the middle of nowhere. I'd at least like to get to the order, if not back to town. I thought we're not, I... too... We're not too far from there, are we, Jeeps? Not, si from the not order, seeing no. any sort of like notes or information on his body. 
I pull out two copper pieces and put them in his eyes, and I'm going to cast. Put them in his eyes. This is a gosh. ritual. And I, as I, after I do this, I uh, say, I don't need you alive to speak to you. I'll be back tomorrow. And I'm going to take my rope and I'm going to string him up on this well. Okay. I know what he's going to do. Okay. Um, speaking of, uh, you also have, Koako, you have enough time to identify something during this if you wish. Right, yeah. So if we're going to have time, time to identify at least one thing during this, why did I close out the party loot? I'm going to say. Let's start off with the Sunblade just to make double sure. Okay. Uh, let's see. What did I put for information on the Sunblade? Not in the Monster's Manual. That's for sure. Okay. Sunblade. Uh, Lucky guy gets silver pieces in his eyes. This appears to <laughs> yeah, this this appears to just be a longsword hilt by itself. When you grasp the hilt, you can use a bonus action to cause the blade to spring into existence, or to make it disappear. Uh, while the blade exists, this magic longsword has the finesse property. If you are proficient with either short swords or long swords, you are proficient with the sun blade, um, and it requires attunement. Hey, Silver. I know sounds right. Silver. Yes. Silver. Yes. You're probably gonna level. You're probably gonna level up. Yeah, I know. I realize that. Um, you I are probably going to level up. Yeah. <laughs> we can probably <laughs> hand that off at some point. Give it to somebody. I feel like Leonidas is gonna be the more likely choice since it is a plus two weapon, unless you've changed that aspect. It is. It is naturally a plus two weapon. Oh, that's the next page. Uh, it is a plus two weapon. <laughs> it deals radiant damage instead of slash damage. When you hit undead, uh, the target takes plus 1d8 radiant damage. Oh my. Um, it also emits light, 15 foot radius uh, for bright light, 15 foot for dim. Uh, this, is, this counts as sunlight. And you can use an action to expand or reduce its radius to bright and dim light by 5 feet each to a maximum of 30 feet each or a minimum of 10 feet each. All right, so... To put this out shortly, we now have a versatile weapon which can do 1d8. I think it's 1d8 one-handed. Yeah, 1d8 yeah. radiant damage. While this is active, Leonidas will have light so he can see. And it does extra mm -hmm. damage against undead. All in favor of giving it to the lion. I. I. I have Bertha. Yeah, and as soon as Gohaku is done identifying it, she'll kind of look over to Leonidas and hold the hilt out. You're probably going to like this. Is a super good weapon. It's, There's a reason I had to nerf it in my game. <laughs> DJ, DJ, you basically have Griffin, a lightsaber. You, you actually gave it out in this game about the same time I gave mine out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> one thing I'm, last thing I'm gonna do. One last thing I'm gonna do to Croc is that I'm gonna cut off his ears as a trophy. Oh my! Oh my! Really? Okay. Cool. Not something that uncommon because it's often used as proof of a kill. Yeah, it is. Um, yep. I don't think any people really, like Koako, won't object to it, but she's probably not paying attention. <sighs> so I'm. So, basic, so basically, yeah. he's currently strung up on the well with silver coins in his eyes. His body is prevented, being prevented from decay, and I have his ears. Um, DJ, are you here? No, he had nope. to go take care of He's body. walking a dog, I think. Okay, so I'll keep the sunblade in the party loop for now, and I'll explain it to him later. <laughs> what did I miss? Akaya's being creepy and you no. have this lightsaber. No, no, <laughs> no guys, I, I know we're all having a fun, a bit of fun here, but I think all our guts are starting to hang out here. Maybe we should just uh, keep moving. Yeah. About this point in time, you hear uh, footsteps from behind you guys. Oh, crap, not more. Uh, in reaction to that, I'm going to cast Masculine Word at level... Three. Every so that's uh, six people. So it will be myself, um, Other animal, myself, uh, Matilda, Leonidas. Like I'll do this when we all kind of. Uh, I guess Leonidas is all the way back there. So Leonidas myself, myself, myself Mat let's assume animals. everyone gets healed. Yeah, Leonidas yeah, everyone gets healed. Um, yeah, oh, throw out another animal. What's a seven? Um, 
I don't remember off the top of my head. Dire Wolf. The the higher numbers are better in general. Yes, but a giant elk wouldn't really well, if it fit, I suppose. All right, uh, next to you. Mm -hmm. And she's just going to basically go to her hand. Heal. We see who comes. Guys, I've got an idea. And Matilda's going to shout, it's the green one. <laughs> just into the forest. Well, okay. Well, if we get attacked now, they definitely don't know me. I'm going <laughs> to at least hope Leonidas will have known to move. Eh, he can probably be there next to the dire wolf. Um, uh, did anyone do his healing on that? Uh, no. I don't think I, I, I got it. Is... I got it. Okay. You did get it? I don't think I put it in. Okay, I'll get it. All right. Um, and after a few steps, you see uh, a familiar face poke his head around. Oh, I don't know. What happened here? Ambush. Remember those guys who I... tied us up in the cave? We found the one. I literally just step aside and show Garthol. So, Gar uh, Sadie, this is what you see. You see one of the guys that ambushed us in the cave, the uh, the rogue, rogue from that rogue, uh, dead, silver coins in his eyes, strung up on this well with rope, and his ears are missing. We got over, uh, over here. We have a very charred body. <laughs> over to the uh, side here, you see a body that looks as though its its spine was crushed by some giant hand. What and to this guy, I believe, was just pummeled to death with a thousand fists. And the werewolf, I think, was just beaten in the head with a uh, st stab to the heart with a longsword. And that too. Did you have to do this? They attacked us. You remember uh, what they did to us. Yeah, but... I understand that you did what you had to do, but uh -oh, Garfle, Garfle. you didn't have to go this far, did you? Uh, uh, suddenly, you hear some growling from the boar behind you. Oh, Who's God. there? No, no. Garfle will call that it starts. It, I it use, starts. I use Salmaturgy. Uh, I Garfle. use Salmaturgy and shout out, "It's the green one!" Oh yeah. Can I this try well. to? Calm the boar. It's the green one! <laughs> Kawaku will look at the boar and she'll tell it, calm down, this one is as well part of us. Go back and check to see if anyone else approaches. It heads back. Uh, which way do you want it to go? Um, pretty much the same place. Uh, right. She's probably going to leave the, tell the wolf to watch behind them. Look, I'm, I'm fine with her standing around all day, but I think I'm going to just slowly... A very oh, large sister. dire wolf pushes past Garthal. We should get moving. Yeah, let's keep yeah. moving. It's, it's, Are it's, you all okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, let's keep moving. Wait, Akaya. Wait, Akaya. You might want this. And I give Akaya back his, uh, his crossbow, the 20 bolts he lent me, and I give him the 10 ice bolts I made. I look at them, and in, act, in any other circumstance, I would actually be really impressed. But right now, I'm just like... Okay. Thanks, and just stash them away. Go on, here we are, front door. Well, you never know what might happen. You might need them. Look, can we just? I'll, I'll buy you something later. Jeeves, can we just? Jeeves, you can don't we have just, to. Can we just move to the front door? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm moving you guys. Uh, so the front door is over here. La, la, wolf. The car is beside me. <laughs> I'm going here. The well, social okay. link isn't that high yet. Oh no, it's, it's pretty damn high considering. Yeah. Um, all right. Do you want the animals to follow you guys into the house? She's probably not going to say to follow inside. She'll just say. At this point, I don't think there's a way to actually call them back. To recall them? Yeah, into the bag. No. Like she can't pull uh, more out, so I think she's just going to um, dismiss them. You are free. Uh, so, they, Jeeves, they does the uh, dire wolf immediately go to attack the boar? <laughs> no, they they treat each other as allies. Okay. They're gonna they're gonna head back up this way. I'm gonna remember to pull those out before shit happens. Like next time we hear people in the bushes, I'm pulling out a freaking animal. 
<laughs> you pull right. out like a rabbit or something. Then I pull out uh, a, a god oak. <laughs> uh, that is Matilda. it. Yes. I feel compelled to eat it. You open the door. I open the door. And uh, the door's open. So you guys are free to head on inside. Sorry about that. Uh, um, so, DJ, what happened was uh, Ikaya mutilated Croc and you got a Sunblade. Yeah, so um, to fully explain what the Sunblade is, you know your uh, longsword? I mean, yeah, add another plus one to that and make plus it... Two. So yeah, yeah, I mean, plus another. two. Yeah, I mean, another. Yeah, it's a plus two that deals radiant damage. If you attack undead, you do more damage, and yep. it gives you some light automatically. Yes. It's also finesse, but I don't think that matters as much. It, to it you. doesn't matter to him. <laughs> Wait, are you guys actually passing the sunblade to me, or yes, who yes, else would we yeah. give it to? Wow, I, I, mean, I, I was technically... going to ask for it, but uh, technically, Nashua could use it. I would argue Siala wouldn't want to because it wouldn't apply for her. Um, like I would argue flat out, it does not apply for her uh, sneak attack bonuses. No, no, it would apply for sneak attack bonuses, and it would. Sword. It would work. It would work for her, yeah. So it's like really them or you, but I feel Leonidas benefits most from it. Does uh, <laughs> does martial uh, arts include short sword? Martial oh, arts. Oh, guys, guys, I am uh, three attunement slots already. You need oh. attunement, yes. Yes. Uh, let's let's figure that out later. I think yes. uh, we want to later, later, later. Right. Also, by mutilate, I cut off his ears as proof of kill. I strung him up to a well so I'd remember his location, and I cast gentle repose on him. All right. So, um, basically, without attuning to it, it's essentially just a hilt. Yeah. Not a sword. You can bash so, people with it. Yeah, you can bash people with it. Oh, as so. an improvised weapon. One for, one yeah, like one d four damage because yeah. it'll act like a club. We'll figure it out later. Okay. So, uh, you guys are. Basically, inside what appears to be a somewhat of a mansion uh, that is in a large clearing in the woods. Oh no! Where, where the bloody is everyone? Uh, Matilda, you know that there is a password, as there always are in these kind of places. Um, you are you are able to. Uh, do you do you want to give the password discreetly or just you Discre don't care? Discreet, discreet, discreetly. Okay, uh, you. Wave your hand over this door up, up here. Where was? Okay, there. Um, and uh, you inscribe a few letters, and the door. I'm on the wrong layer because that's the thing about it. I do, and the door. Um, opens. Reinforces with the portcullis, and the room fills with lava. Yes. Uh, <laughs> revealing some stairs heading down. I assume you all are heading down. Just stay, Anyone, stay still. Bear with me. Oh, just, just stay still. Okay, so yep. Yeah, we we'll all head down. Still. All right. <laughs> you guys are all heading down. Okay, and you make your way down here. We're all going down, down to the right. Down, down. Okay, found it. And as soon as you guys step around the corner, you see a uh, tiefling who's leaning up against the wall. Would Matilda oh. recognize them? Matilda, you recognize this girl. Matilda's gonna give her a hug. <laughs> Didn't I, realize I, you were back in town. I sighed with relief. I got, got back in a few days ago. You know, you're not a very good spy if you uh, don't keep good track of me. <laughs> I have other people who can do that. Uh, yeah, but you do. Oh, how you been? Well, I got that information you were asking for, and she looks at your party. They're, and, they're, uh, they're good. Back. They're, just they're good? You know, we just, Actually, got, you know, you know, we just got ambushed outside. Yes, we did, as a matter of fact. Hmm. Um, I wonder I if they if they, uh, two, two if of they them. killed our uh, scout there. Hmm, we didn't see any scout. It was on, it was on uh, duty. Um... I don't have a name. I really need to come up with random names. Miguel. <laughs> Miguel. Uh, yeah. Miguel. Yeah, Miguel. Miguel was on duty. Oh, crap. Miguel is another half orc. We uh, two of them were uh, other hunters. One of 
One a uh, stinking wolf, for the other one a demon speaker. Well, those those types of blood hunters aren't here, right? No, around no. Don't use. I don't, I don't know why they'd be around here. They were the two up. Thought... with two others. Could have been contracts, with these, but you might want to talk to Kilgrax about it. <sighs> Probably should. Um, I'll catch up. Do you want to wind me up later? Do you give me that information? Sure. Good. It's good, yeah? Um, if you see Danith in there, you can talk to him. He's got most of that information you might want. Cheers. You're a sweetheart. I kind of also got... Uh, gone. Uh, oop, go ahead, uh, Ikaya. Uh, um, I was gonna, as we go past, I was going to say, uh, by the way, uh, one of their corpses is uh, just strung up out there. Do you mind just leaving it alone for a day? I need, a, need to come back to it. Um, I I'm need to go really, back to it. I'm not really in charge here. Um, yeah, we can look them. So you can you can pass that on to uh, Kilgrax when you see him. Uh, I I will. Thank you. Jeepers, which way are we going? Going south. Going south. Okay. Sorry, it's a bit confusing. The uh... yeah, I set this up in case uh, people were going to come here without you. So <laughs> I'm going to just get rid of the doors that you need. You to know, pass if we're through. going to like assault her. Place. So we're going. We're going south here. So we're going all the way through here. Well, dungeon raid in the middle Jesus of the Christ! Keep going south. Mm. Okay. Found it. Right. Go this way. There we go. Yes, it is essentially a maze. And thus we meet the most photorealistic people in all of D and Jeeves. <laughs> they are they're so far from the cat. They're um, so realistic, it is almost creepy. Uh, and he's got the d and logo on his shirt. It's... Yep, so... It's good. And then it's just a Mikote. This is a... Uh, yeah, that's a Mikote. This is a Dragonborn up here. Um, as, as he sees you all arrive, he takes up a great axe and starts to charge it with fiery energy. No, 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 no. Matilda! He... Crap. Bull rushes through all of you guys and gives you a giant hug. God, God damn it! The he, doesn't not, he doesn't knock any of us into that hole in the middle, right? No. Yeah, how, how tall what? is this room? Um, about fifteen feet. It's pretty all deep. Right, Kalaka is jumping on the broom of flying to be hovering over him when he does this. <laughs> it's good to see you too. You big old lug. Take uh, one crushing damage as he I hugs need, you. I need to breathe, and I've already been picked up. <laughs> You've been gone far too long! It's only been a couple of months. That's far too long! Uh, I say so! Are you my husband? Not yet. Ha ha ha. Don't tell Logan. Ick, ick, you, know, you, know tell Logan. you know he'll break you in two. He, he gets down on his knees. Please don't tell Logan! He'll break you in two. I don't, I don't know. How much is it worth? <laughs> Ah, you're not gonna tell him. He uh, kind of gives you a, uh, elbows you on the shoulder. Uh, I pull Leo's, home. I pull, I, I pull Leo's side. I'm totally telling him later on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, Matilda. Uh, good to be home. Do you, uh, um, are we, we got some you bad. You talked to Amelia up there, didn't you? Yeah, talked to Amelia. Um, we have some bad news. Uh, Mikael might be dead. He uh looks down at his feet. Mikhail, he was a really crappy blood hunter, but a nice guy. Oh, Christ. No, no sympathy for you, is there? <laughs> Tears are in his eyes. Uh, uh, well, we haven't found the body, but um, we got ambushed out there by t another group, two of them blood hunters. If we didn't bump into him there, chances are might be worth to have it take send a few of our... Uh, Younger recruits, have a look. From the other orders? One wolf, one demon. <sighs> they... They still haven't found this place, but they're getting closer. How... I, I didn't think we were in that bad of relationships since I le last left. I... I tap the Dragonborn on the shoulder. If it's any consolation, they may not have been looking for you. They may have been an employee of someone looking for me. He whirls around, looks up at you. You're tall! Why, thank you. 
Turn us back to Matilda. <laughs> oh, I tap, I tap him on the shoulder again. Oh, and uh, by the way, there's um, a corpse strung up out there. If you could leave it alone for a day, that would be great. It's he really likes corpses for some reason. Don't ask. Just, just it be happy. It's important, do it. okay? An okay. important corpse. What he does in his own private time is nothing we have questioned. Hey, we don't judge. In I all mean, fairness, we are we're all a bit of a bunch of ragtags. We're, we're blood hunters. It's, we don't judge. In D&D, you have to be a bunch of ragtags. As for our relationships with the other orders, the profane soul has always been a thorn in our sides. And this new group, I believe they call themselves the Lycans, they've... They have not been... They've not been nice. They are meanie pants. And it, Apparently everyone, apparently everyone Matilda knows is a goddamn idiot. <laughs> Rem remind me, what what order is this again? We are order blood hunters of the ghost slayers! And he, he lifts his axe up high into the air. And barely hits Kohaku, who is regrettably floating above him. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's, always been a bit, he's always been a bit passionate. As he says More. that, you see all the all the other people nearby. They raise their own weapons in the air and give a cheer. More like blood hunters of the Ghostbusters. I do like not know guys. what that term means, but we slay ghosts. Sometimes. I don't know. Right? Ghosts, same difference. In all, in all fairness, I seem to have my, a better luck killing killing the physical anything physical than anything spiritual these days. You didn't see any mutants up there, did you? No, no mutants. Uh... We well, had, at least, at least we have killed on, plenty so. of we have well, killed plenty of zombies in our travels. Yep, Does well, that count as ghost slaying? Uh, mm, kind of. Sort but of. The, uh, the, uh, well, there were a few. Uh, let let me find a few ghosts at some point. Study. Let me tell us that. Yeah. The, the mutants. We haven't been good with the mutants since the uh, last. You know, the last tournament. You know when, you know when the uh, guild master's apprentice basically overdosed on the. Uh, Old concoction. Yeah, 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 but they're just butt hurt. They're they're still good with us. It, it, uh, yeah, they've always been a bit. He's losing his mind a bit. Last time I saw him, yes, he he's you know he hasn't forgiven me from kidding her. I, 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 I could, I, what could I do? I had to, it was a, she literally turned into a giant horse fly monster from all the mutagen. I think you should talk to Danis. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna point over in this direction. I've always, I've always got to go and bloody talk to Dana every single time I come in. <laughs> Alright, what are the rest of you guys going to do? Kind of floating around looking at things. Alright. Um, you see over here... Yeah. There's, there's what appears to be a vat of... Um, you're not sure, but it looks like blood. I'm going to assume it's blood and she's not going to worry about it too much. Actually, she's going to uh, sniff it. She's it, going to hang it upside smells... down above it and sniff it. <laughs> Roll a dex save. I wouldn't. I wouldn't drink that. Oh. Would I'm gonna say it's cool. She's got this. <laughs> She's got this. All right. You have this advantage. Your ponytail gets wet with blood. Definitely blood, and she's gonna kind of just foot away and press the digitation. Yeah. All right. So, um, Jeeves, I know what that's for, don't I? Cause, it. It's. Uh, it's for training purposes. Okay. Um, for for the rest of these areas, they're just like magic circles. Uh, they they look like they're more training or uh, enchanting circles of some sort. Uh, Matilda, as you approach Danith, uh, he he is leaning against the wall, watching you come in. Uh, he is also a ghost slayer. Well, uh, we're, he, all, we're all ghost slayers here, except for Amelia. She's just a rogue. Um, he, he appears to have a brand new scar right across his face. Oh, uh, new, new beauty mark, my friend. I, uh, went to that town. And you remember he used to be a cheerful lad, and he is not acting cheerful in the least. Cool. Come on, Meek. Come around the corner. Go in silence. Come on. Yeah, Coco kind of flew away. Alright, I'm going to drag you 
into private. Help! He's pulling out the tentacle rods. Help! 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 All right. Well, that's going on. That's my shake. Yeah. Well, that's going on. Let's take a look. See what is Leonidas currently attuned to. Mm. Of I mean, you can check it because you have point resist uh, poison resistance I and the Ion check. Stone or Reserve. Obviously, he doesn't want to lose the, pl the plate armor. The gauntlets, no. he's going to want to keep as well. So it would just be the Ion Stone if you were to lose anything. Otherwise, uh, it is... Ciala so, could use the I, Otherwise, it seems like this weapon is good for Ciala, aside from the fact it makes it very hard for her to sneak. Um, no, she can just... Yeah, she, can turn it off. Active. Yeah, she can turn it off. She just, when she turns it hey, on, she hey, can't flurry. Hey, Silver. Yeah. What about Garthol? Garthal, I'm going to say, would not want it because no. it's only a D10 worth of damage. Yeah, um, that's, I see what you mean because I have the Great Axe. But... You have a Great Axe. Is it a Dragon Slaying Great Axe or am I thinking something else? Giant Slayer. No, it's a, about, it's a Giant Slaying Great Is Axe. Is that a plus one as well? It's plus one last plus I checked. Plus one, Giant Slayer. I'm still going to lean more towards no, because the higher damage dice would probably be better for Garthful. To be honest, that is the, 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 um, the Sunblade's greatest attribute is that it is finesse. A rogue, like a swashbuckler with this thing, would love it. If that was okay, a Sunblade, he would be set forever. A normal rogue would probably enjoy it, aside from it makes it hard to sneak, but they can just bonus action to turn it on and off, but they're already bonus action heavy. That's fair. I see what you mean. My best attacking attribute is strength, anyway. Yeah. So a yeah, monk you would the other better items. That. A monk would also benefit from it if the DM will rationale that it counts for their martial arts, even if they use it two-handed. Because that's oh, if, yeah. Because two-handed would be where be proficient with short or long sword to use it. But only short swords are listed for the um, martial yeah. arts on a monk. So if the DM rules that it counts for martial arts, it is the amazing monk weapon. If they, they don't, it's a little more eh. Okay. It's well, still, a, it's still a really good monk weapon. I think weapon. you mentioned something I, about uh, Belt of Returning. That's I don't know if that we haven't identified yet. We don't know if that's a tuner or not, but that's... that's fair. I don't that's feel that probably would help be... your exploding javelins. Normal javelins have out, apps, well, but you have your cantrip. The exploding well, javelins, I also I don't have think other it would weapons more. like my hand axes. Like to be honest, I was actually considering the possibility of going down a more dual wielding hand axes route in the future if I get things uh, that would make that more viable. I'm uh, I've actually looked into a dual wielding um, barbarian build, so I can't immediately say that that's a bad idea. I'm gonna still be inclined to say it's. You're actually it's you're not, not a fury, so the bonus action isn't already going to give you an extra attack. So it's not a horrible idea. It's not an amazing idea, however. Yeah, that's it's keeping. Fair. It's another thing that's just keeping you out of the front line. Yeah, which you is are where you should be. So if like front line is a good place for Garthol to be. So I see what you mean. I'm more inclined to you wanting to have like a good beat him up weapon and. While the extra plus does make the Sunblade nice, you are losing a bit of damage die. I would be more inclined to want to... Like, really, the best case scenario for the Sunblade would be on a character who wants to use, like, a rapier or a normal longsword. Yeah. Which would be yeah. most likely, like, a shield fighter or of some sort. I could... I would even use it if I wanted to, because that's a really feasible idea for oh, me. Yeah, that it would I'm be a yeah. great idea for you as well. Honestly, I, yeah, the only I just, other person I would relinquish the Sunblade to would be... Uh, sauce. I don't want it, because I want to use reach weapons and kind of stay in the back line, which is something that hasn't happened, because I'm always <laughs> putting myself in the front line for one reason or another. Yeah, so it would be a good weapon for a cleric as well, but again, the reasons he stated. Um... Like, ideally, in this party, I would feel one of the monks, um, Sial especially, or, and one of the monks, if he, um, Jeeb's rationale, I think you're done. martial arts, or Leonidas otherwise, but you'd have to lose the attunement. And looking at what you have attuned, the only thing I could remotely see you wanting to unattune to would be the uh, Ion Stone. <sighs> yeah, and that's still going to hurt. 
Uh, it would still w- hurt, but you could give it to someone else and have them pump spells into it that they that they could then cast. That's true. That is. And I think it's essentially put healing balance spells on another class, which would be beneficial. Well, I, I got what I came for. Yeah, we just spent the last five minutes discussing um magic items and attunement. Well, like... mostly them. I was no yeah, yeah. For those reasons. Yeah. So uh, we we can discuss that more later when um the DM and Val isn't back. But I can see the Sunblade going to multiple different people. Uh, uh, Christ. So is uh, Jeebs back as well, or...? Yeah, we're, we're yep. back. Okay. okay. So what's the plan? What well, are we doing? I got mostly what I need to come for. I just need to talk to Amelia again. Alright. And Goku kind of just nod. Alright. And she's just going to keep looking around, taking an eye on things, seeing what they have and what they don't have. I'm assuming there's magic everywhere. Pretty much, well, yeah. There's a lot of magic. He's mentioned there are magic circles. Like, yeah, I'm assuming uh, magic I wouldn't everywhere. be surprised with this order. Not mm. in the slightest. Yeah, so he's, she's not going to worry too much about anything else. He's just observing. Matu is going to go back up to Jeeves, because you made this character on the name on the spot and I never had any kind of insight before. Um, mm-hmm. Name again? Uh, to Kilgrax? Kilgrax. Uh, I should probably put his name visible. That might ha- that might be helpful. I set these guys up because I wasn't sure if uh, you guys would um, come in here without Matilda or not. So <laughs> that would have been that would have been really honest. bad. That, that would have been, been a, a really bad, bad day. day. Yes. Well, I'm not sure why we would go here without Matilda per se. Bad because bad ambush and then a big dungeon. Because uh, Kohaku told me, or Silver told me that he wanted to level up. I was going to I give him a way to level up. Eight orcs, one fireball, eight orcs dead. I level. I I do not give levels like that. <laughs> I mean, it's just the fact she was so close that it's like. Uh, uh, wait, with the fight with uh, uh, dead rogue McRogerson, I have given yeah. her that level. If it doesn't, oh, I'll be yeah. impressed. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You, you guys got somewhere in the neighborhood of a thousand experience each. Sure. I'm not sure the exact number. I'll figure money, that out money, later. Money Did I get any experience from crafting? No. no. So, what you say, Val? Probably no. You wouldn't have probably... probably... turn. Go ahead, Val. Uh, what? No, no, G- it said he was asking about if he got XP for the fight. You do you not want... get experience for the fight, no. You don't? Crafting is what he was asking for, I thought. Um, yeah. We can talk about that later. Okay. Uh, she's gonna pull Kilgrax aside. Like, um, you ever got any? Uh, it, you don't need anything done while I'm out there again, do you? No. Uh, if you could check on Miguel. Oh, I hope that. I'm, in, I'm, in, I'm here. I'm here for a few more days. I can uh, have a quick look around. No promises. Sounds good. Good to have you back, Matilda. Uh, I don't know if it's because that'd be great to be back, but well, can't stay away, can I? Uh, is this a for everyone else to hear? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, um, I Kilgrex, think... sir. Uh, yeah. Do you mind if I ask a favor? Depends on what the favor is. Do you mind if I take refuge here for the night? Well, um, Batilda, Batilda will just be would give him a nod if he looks. Safe. Yeah, Kilgrax is looking over at Matilda. Matilda gives a nod, saying that it's okay. Well, we have plenty of beds, so I don't think we're using them all. We have some nice facilities here. Uh, actually, had some wizard install plumbing. Uh, it's very odd. Um, so, yes, if you would like. Uh, that that would comment kind of gets. Complicated. That would be appreciated. What was that nice comment? Sauce? In the comment, or, go ahead, sauce. No, I just said that. Uh, yeah, I was uh, that is appreciated. <laughs> and I was just gonna say Would that. Would Kaya wizard... know what plumbing is? Mm, I have yeah. heard of things on my travels with you guys. To make I... plumb means to make it flat and level. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I would say. <laughs> Some, obviously, some wizard has come here and flattened all the floors. Didn't do a very good job, though. <laughs> I think your at least knows what plumbing is if it exists in this world, considering who she's worked for. 
There yes. were some noblemen uh, who had uh, some semblance of plumbing, yes. So she what is know what it is. I should probably ask like, who the wizard was if they know. Uh, some, some guy named Joe. Joe the plumber. Uh, Joe's plumbing. I think I've heard of him once. Might have to track him down yeah. sometime. You mean you mean Joe? You mean Joe? You mean, you mean crazy? You mean crazy old Joe from town? I don't know. <laughs> uh, he's he's smarter than me. That's all I know. Yeah, well, that that sometimes isn't uh, too hard, my friend. I I feel like rolling a deception to see how well Kawako can hide what she wants to say. <laughs> Go ahead and roll. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Wait, with bated breath. <laughs> you look like you have something to say, miss. Well, well, um, I'm just kind of curious, actually, about more about the plumbing. I've heard about it before, and I was expecting that anyone who was skilled enough to do it was transmutation-based. Mm -hmm. And she's kind of, like, smiling a bit wider than she needs to. Uh, there what were several thing, then? words in that sentence that went right over my head. <laughs> yes, it's a uh, magical talk. Um, Keep in mind, we're, we're blood hunters. We're not I, actually I, 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 wizards. I, I, I found the blood over there. It's a nice puddle of it. It is, isn't it? It's been a long time getting that much. I a little... Little... <laughs> Trade secret you don't want to know. I'm, I'm pretty sure we sure don't want to know. Picture. You really uh, don't know. You really don't look know. At you don't know what I want to know. <laughs> I probably don't want to know what you want to know. Oh, wait, I think we should probably get going before this gets, goes any further. But, um, well, I okay, agree so, with that statement. Oh, so, it was all nice seeing you again. Um, uh, I'm sorry, so the little fight out there kind of got me a little riled up. Nashua appears completely and thoroughly creeped out. Just come on, come, come on, on Nashua. Everyone, We're going to get out of this place very, I drag very Nashua soon. with me away. Uh, before you guys go, I tap Matilda on the shoulder, and uh, um, the I don't know if it was much help, but do you mind if I get the, the ring back? You're divorcing me already? Uh... <laughs> you're saying this in Range of the Dragonborn? Yep. Please tell me you're saying this aloud in Range of the Dragonborn. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm gonna tell Logan. Nah. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell it that you proposed to me. <laughs> oh my Glocko goodness. Look at the Unitas afterwards. If you would like help, um, uh, when you come back, yeah. I could probably stop you uh, fly by. Yeah, yeah. yeah take, uh, take, take it, okay. You're doing. Uh. 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 Thank you. Oh boy, what a bunch tell of characters. Logan, tell Logan I'll whoop his butt tomorrow. Uh, oh, God. Oh, you, oh, he's. You, you are have so, to? You're, when you hear Matilda, Matilda walks off when you hear he's like, oh, he's. You're so dead. <laughs> I hope not. He's the only one who can bring us back to life. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, Matilda, are you heading back up to talk yeah. to Amelia? Alright. Um, what are the rest of you guys doing? Kyle, you're staying here? Well, I'm staying um, here. I figure Although I am, cur I am curious why Akai is actually staying here. So what, what I'm doing is I am, I am staying here so that the first thing in the morning I can go back to the corpse of, um, of, what's his Crook. name? Of Crook, Crook. and use, Crook. use a certain spell on him to get some information. Speak to that! Well, Kilgrax mm. is going to take Akai, uh, to the uh, beds. It's going to point one out to him and say, this one is yours for the night. <laughs> Just how much blood is on these beds? Because if have gone by the tokens. Is Matilda's over him, what? <laughs> what? 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 Matilda, what? I was, just, I was joking. It's, it's Matilda's old room. <laughs> <laughs> um, Something smells familiar, but I can't quite place it. Don't worry, oh. we only practice magic uh, on the other side of that door. And he points at this door here. <laughs> that only right, raises right. further concerns. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right, 
right on well, the other side of that door. Like, just open the door, and that's where all the magic happens. <laughs> um, are we are we in range to hear the kayak? No, we're not. No. <laughs> Uh, All right. Then I guess. Once again, I, I, once I again, it, sir. Oh. Thank you for your hospitality. Anytime. And I'm um, just gonna sitting on the bed All and right. probably stop reading through my tome. Back to the rest, you guys. Um, immediately, immediately he got that. Uh, he got a bit more information on for me. All oh, right, the witch. Any locations? Well. Uh, and again, she she looks over at the group. You sure? Around the corner. Come on. Sorry about this, guys. Important business. All right. The so corner. you go up here. Um, there is no door on this, so uh, you guys can pretty easily hear if you stay where you are. <laughs> but you um, she tells you. Um, no. Uh, they're, they're, yeah. What's your? Anyone with a passive perception over thirteen can hear. <laughs> That's gonna be a Not decent me. amount. I think. Okay. Well, what can I yeah. do? Oh, over thirteen. Over thirteen. Four so yeah, Leonice actually can just barely not hear it. I can barely hear it. All right. So, um, <laughs> so Amelia tells you that uh, she learned that the witch was overheard talking to some invisible being named Adams, who Amelia assumes is her patron. She was last seen traveling south from Trombe, possibly towards Valera, but that was about a week ago, and there are plenty of posts to the south, uh, plenty of ports to the south. Uh, the description, uh, jet black hair reaches down to her waist, eyes that shine like a ruby, especially when casting a spell, uh, skin as fair as the driven snow, and a pair of clawed wings, reminiscent of a bat. Ah, oh, crap. And Goako's taking notes. <laughs> Does that help? No, just give me a sec. Sorry, people were shouting. Does that help? Yeah, it helps. Um, just keep me, keep me posted. Uh, actually. Uh, material and uh, maybe the uh, second half of the set in stone. I'm sorry, sometimes I can't understand you. What did you just say? <laughs> sorry. Matilda, Matilda, Matilda hand of the second half of the set in stone. Okay. Uh, so she has one half and giving it to Amelia for the second half? Um, might, not be able to, might not be able to go and have a look just yet, but keep me posted on any new information you get. You know, we'll it do. Works, right? Uh, yeah, sure. She she looks at it. Yeah, I'll figure it out. <laughs> and Matilda comes back and sees Goku okay. floating upside down, writing stuff in a notebook. Roll a deck save. I'm waiting for her to fall on her head. Uh, <laughs> plus you fall four, on your head. Four, plus four. It is a save. This doesn't count. This doesn't count. Aw, oh, come on. She's within ten feet. You you fall on your head and take four damage. Alright. Takes four damage. So, why are you doing this? Because I have intended to try to hang upside down off the broom. Why? Because she can't. <laughs> she climbs back up onto the broom and sits normally for a little while. Alright. I'm going to watch uh, Saki and make sure she sits normally. You do realize we keep you around for your brain, yes? yes Please don't I damage it. on my hair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. It's already working. And I thought I was, and I, and I thought I was the bad one around here. Uh, I just thought so you were guys, too. Just you so you realize... guys know, I created this whole puzzle for you guys to enter the basement. And... <laughs> Matilda just waltzes right through it because she knows the password. Yeah, it's yep. like it, <laughs> the thing you. Um, crap! I forgot what I was gonna say now with Koaku. Uh, crap. Uh, <laughs> I also that fight that you guys went through. If it was just Kohaku, um, Nostro would have come with you no matter what. Uh, so if there were only two of you, you would only have fought Croc. If there were three of you, it would have been Croc and Frida. 
For a four, it would have been Croc and Andraste. Five, it was Croc, Frida, and Andraste. And if six or more came, it would have been all of them. <laughs> so I had yep. a whole bunch of different options here. Well, there was one more sitting on the sidelines. <laughs> um, no, you, you got them all. Okay. All right. All right, so where are you guys heading? Back to town, I would assume, unless we wanted to look around for what's his name now. Back to, Mizzou Back to Missouri. Are you going to look out for Miguel? Oh, yeah, we could. could what's, uh, what's time of day, roughly? It is early evening. Um, it's up to you guys. I'll, I'm, I might stay out late. I thought it was a clock. It is 6.47. Yeah, 6.47. Two, 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 three hours? You mean a lot to me. Yeah, I have to. Kind of nods, you'll reach into the bag of tricks and pull out Your one little girl orb. is really going to want that cake when you return. <laughs> Always make it up to her. Look, look, would you rather let me... Would you rather let me leave someone in the forest to die? You do have a good point there. I do. I do. <laughs> Sorry, what are we talking about? Uh, which fuzzy are you throwing, Kaku? Apparently Seven. it's Direwolf again, which I cannot do, so I will re-roll. Yep. <laughs> what uh, is this cotton ball that's going on? Six is a fancy, I hope. Excuse me, what is this cotton ball that's going on? Oh man, it's a giant it's honey badger. Woo! Is that Alright, guys, hold up, hold up, hold up, Silver. What are you saying, Sonny? I'm asking, did I miss something that's going on about Miguel? We'll yeah, Miguel is uh, is the person who was the scout, uh, he... and we're gonna go look for him. Evidently, yeah, sure. Well, we're not looking for him. A medium-sized giant badger. The badgers are normally small, so the uh, giant badger is technically not giant, but he's bigger. Okay, fair enough. Which is giant relative yeah, to badger? Look, 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 as I recall, right? Either, look, either way, we're looking for another half orc. Shouldn't be too hard to spot. Yeah, and she'll instruct the honey badger that they're looking for another half orc. She'll point at Matilda, but not this one. Mail. Help us look. Mail. Mail. <laughs> um, you do realize <laughs> animals don't have a lot of intelligence, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're looking but, for a male well, that smells similar to her. It's okay. So I've got this. Honey... I've got this. It's so the badger sniffs. Is... <laughs> All right, go ahead and speak with animals then. Yeah, I'll, I'll give me a second to pull up the spells. The badger sniffs at Matilda to get a scent. Alright. Well, I think he found it. Yeah. I have to use a spell slot for that, unfortunately, but we're not in combat, so hopefully I won't get screwed on that. Leo, what are you uh, talking to the badger about? Basically, um, explaining that we need to find another of another person who look kind of looks like Matilda, but is male. the The badger looks back at you, tilts its head a little, and says, "Sherry told me that." Just <laughs> making sure, then. Sorry. I'll send hey, a K out of the pocket dimension wall to help look. Follow me. And the badger's going to take off. Follow the badger. Follow the badger. I'm inside the badger. Matilda <laughs> just, just steps right on top of the badger, <laughs> evidently. Uh. Alright. Uh, he brings you over this direction. As you get to here, you see the dire wolf and the boar are nomming on the dead corpse of Croc. No. Bad. <laughs> Bad. The the wolf looks looks at you and tucks his tail between its legs. You can eat the How other three, but not this one. How badly numbed is he? Uh very. Very, very uh... badly numbed. You guys have been inside for like an hour, so they've been numbing on pretty much all the bodies for the last hour. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> you can eat the other two, but not this one. Okay. James just really does not want us to talk to this person. Um, it basically doesn't have a head anymore. Oh, oh come, on, come on, Jeeves! Wait, what did I just... did he really? Jeeves just screwed you out of information by strategically uh, 
You he guys did. left them there. <laughs> you left them there. You he didn't say he stay put. He took advantage of the fact. To be honest, it's you've been taking advantage of everything that has not been directly under player control. This one I'm going to give to you because this was, I, I can't just um, argue against that. The one with the Ciala, though, that was you just taking advantage of you not wanting us to talk well, to him. Ciala, the, the thing with Ciala was just the round before, Matilda said kill them all, including Croc. So then someone else said maybe no. So Ciala just made that decision. Um, all right. So you guys, uh, you're following the giant badger, which is over here. Yeah. He is going to come around this direction, over here. In other news, even if it wasn't these animals' fault, I could honestly say it's likely that Croc would have been eaten alive anyway because you left a corpse outside. The smell of carrion and everything of the like would have attracted other scavengers. The thing is, is that it's not rotting for quite a while, so it wouldn't because have gotten scavengers. Scavengers are attracted very fast. Yes, they are. Very, and very I fast. tried to tried to kind of string it up in a way that would. There keep were it up three other corpses in the area. I was, I was willing to, I was willing to expect it to be eaten anyway. Yeah. And I just um, didn't, I didn't feel like it would be a good idea to drag the corpse either into this temple or to town. So, I did the best with what I had within reason, and what I guys, did was creepy enough. As you guys approach, you see what appears to be a hangman's noose on one of these hunter's racks, and there is a green-hued body hanging from it. Oh, oh no. Going up to so, the top here, like, still on the broom and cutting it down. Matilda's gonna catch it. Alright, um, Matilda, you don't recognize this person, but you can assume from the description that this might be Miguel. Crap. We should go back and let him know. No, look, you guys go on uh, back collar, take the body in, and I'll be back in town. Alright. Um, I'll try to get the. I'll try to send the animals off to not finish eating him, but. Leo, um. Can you, uh. Yes. Can you just cover the cake for me? There's mm -hmm. a. There's I will. a shop. I'll, I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay. Two, can two candles. Right, two candles. <laughs> Chocolate cake. Right, Matilda, I'm just going to move you down to... Wait, the... wait, Matilda, Matilda, Matilda. What? Not it, gonna does she down. have any favorites? As in candles? <laughs> no, as in cake. I know she said chocolate, but... Uh, dark, dark chocolate. Just... So, uh, all right, I'm, all right. I'm holding my body right now. Two candles. Uh, as you might have noticed, Leah and I is actually taking this seriously. Uh, Matilda, roll a strength check. Go ahead, oh, let's go taking the body back. Yep. If you haven't got one more roll of lucky, just in case. Uh, can I help Matilda? No. Uh, no, she's she sent you off. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Uh, I'm going to use lucky. Okay. For sake. That is slightly better. Okay. Um, you struggle quite a bit to uh, to get this body uh, through the doors, but you are able to get there after a period amount of amount of time. Um, the rest of you, you can tell that she's kind of struggling, but uh, she at her insistence, uh, you're probably just going to head on back home. Yeah. Can, I, can I take a breather and try and lift it again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after after a while. But uh, anyways, you guys are going to head on back. Leonice so. will be go. We'll be going cake shopping. Kaka will help him because she's probably better at cakes than him. Yeah, she uh, is. What's, what's the time at the moment? It is uh, it is mid to early evening. Uh, you don't have evening. a clock. Garth, well, I have I don't a clock. So I, yeah. Garth, Garth, so I'm kind of, yeah, I, yeah. uh, I know, so I'm not asking for a specific time. Do I have roughly an idea of how long, how much time has passed? Yeah, um, it's about supper time. That's You're feeling time. hungry. Uh, I at that point I um I'm going to cast this. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? It was this. I'm contacting Leonidas. Oh. And I am. I and my message is: Did you make it back to town safely? 
So you can send a 25. Yeah, you can send me a tweet. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> send me your Twitter. Ah, uh, the divine Twitter. So yeah, you hear, um... Here, it's me, Ikaya. Did you, uh... Did you make it back to town safe? Yes, yes, we did. Okay, then that's all I can... All I can do with sending. So yeah. I just take, take comfort... I take comfort in that, so I... All it is is I send a message, you send a message back. Yeah. I just wanted to know that everyone made it back to town safely, whether or not any other information was revealed or whatever. But yeah, so I, um, I rest easy. Okay. Um, Matilda, what are yeah. you going to do? I'm going to carry him through all the way down. All the way down. Finally made it. Okay. Um, you finally make it back and Kilgrax watches as you struggle through with the body and uh, no words are exchanged but you all know what had happened. Uh, after after a little bit of a, uh, a ritual in which Miguel gives the rest of his blood to the order um, he says you can head on back home. Jeez, it's pretty quiet. What's going on? What's going on? Ikaya, you see above the pit of blood a rather drained, greenish-hued body. Oh, uh, that's that's Miguel, isn't it? The I rest know, of I know the people. The, I know they just look at you and nod. I see Matilda, and I just kind of. I just kind of give, like, a nod. <sighs> They're all kind of just staring at you. I'm just kind of standing here for you. The, the awkwardness is real. Roll for awkward. Um, <laughs> What's it going to be? A I'll <laughs> uh, I have proficiency in that. <laughs> Yay! They, they continue their ritual, Ikaya. It is... Difficult to watch. I put I put, uh, hand, but, I put hand on Kirax's shoulder and just because you may want to just go back in. Okay. Not gonna uh, tell him any information. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's yeah, a, uh, a fairly disturbing uh, ritual, uh, but you have a feeling that pretty much everything about Blood Hunters has some sort of blood related disturbingness to it. I kind of got it. Oh, hey, this. This bar seems familiar. Yeah, like, it kind of does, but that's all part of the same token, so it's just weird. Um, but, uh, yeah, you, you can find... Uh, can you guys hear my voice? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we can, but you're, you're interrupted. Oh, voice disconnected thing, I got concerned. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm on Discord, that is. I'm sorry. Uh, Ikaya, you can see in this area there's some food, supper, and so on. Um, I just eat from my own rations, because I don't want to yeah. impose... There is a there is a what appears to be a chef in there, um, who's working on cleaning up and cooking and stuff. And he motions you to to join if you wish. Um, I just kind of wave my hand and shake my head. And it's like it's fine. I don't want to impose. Okay. He doesn't seem too perturbed by that. So, all right, uh, Matilda, are you gonna head on back? Yeah, I'm uh, heading out. All right. So I will. Alright, back in the harbor. Uh, Sauce, you're free to explore whatever you want to over there. I, there's nothing really I need to explore. I'm just kind of going to, at this point, eat and then probably go to sleep soon. Alright, uh, back in the harbor. You guys uh, are able to purchase a very nice chocolate cake with two candles for one gold. Okie doke. That'll be coming out of Leo's pocket. Not that it matters that much. It is a very, very large, very delicious looking chocolate cake. It appears that it's plenty, plenty enough to feed all of you with no issues. So we might have gone a little overboard, in other words. 
I'm sure she's <laughs> most of it. She seemed, she seemed a growing girl. She is a growing girl, yes. <laughs> and uh, Matilda, you're able to meet up with them just about at the point of time where they would reach the house. So you're able to pretty much all join in at the same Lucky. time. Lucky! Everyone <laughs> except Ikaya. My back is killing me right and now. And everyone had cake except Ikaya. Everyone had cake that night. Alright, uh, it is four o'clock. So... We, we did probably not ought to end off two days. <laughs> um, what two I days what I would like to do is really, uh, really quickly. What is everyone doing for the rest of the week all together? I go to the I go to the corpse. I realize it's headless. I get upset and then I do this in frustration. Just get that out of the way. Do that in frustration. The corpse explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no. I whiff and the. Uh, I'll say it's, it's not moving. You're able to touch it. Wow, if only that applied to the corpses that were restrained or whatever. You, you, have it it is, you, went, you definitely went overboard with that one. You have that advantage level four. the armor has been stripped from him, so, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I I get upset. I go, the, I go back to town. I'll probably spend the rest of the time, again, just performing charity work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, Leonidas would also be doing charity work. Alright. I think Kuaku's their first uh, agenda is going to be detecting magic and fully identifying everything they found. That may okay. not be magic. Okay, we can go over that later. Yep, go after, um, other than that, probably copy a few more spells into her spell book as well as permits, and then mm -hmm. probably just wander about and look at things, possibly check out what the mar uh, market has for sale. Okay. Um, the marketplace has a whole bunch of mundane items. Uh, nothing magical. Like she, she actually um, would be looking for more mundane things anyway. I, I feel like she would take a look at clothing and other things. The most magical related items you can find are the potions the, that yeah. Ciala got. Uh, for clothing, there's a decent selection of clothing. I figured she would um, end up buying a set of casual clothes because the only thing she's had to wear has been, at this point, her armor and then her work uniform, which has been something that she's been maintaining. Okay. You can, can find, you can find uh, some common clothes for five silver. She'd probably splurge a little bit, but five, she's probably not going to find anything too fancy. Well, if you, if you looked really for uh, some finer clothing... You do have an idea that there's a couple of noble people in this town. Mm -hmm. um, so there, there is a fancier clothier. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can buy a fancy outfit if you would prefer. She'd probably go do that. Like, not strictly right. look noble, but something that looks nice. Um, Alright, so roll a persuasion check. Persuasion. Alright. This is to see what price you're going to pay. You are going to be paying 12 gold for this uh, nice, very, very nice uh, outfit that you shall describe later. I'm assuming it's the dress that's in her token. I could probably go with that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Simplicity! I'm going to take the simple answer when possible. But yeah, yeah. something more like that opposed to her elvish armor and her normal maid outfit. Okay. Uh, Garsal. Yeah? I assume you want to do some tinkering? I do. Well, the first thing I want to do is actually, t on, on like the day we get back, I remember something I've been meaning to do, but I keep on forgetting. Before we go to sleep, I want to pray to Bahamut to ask him about that mark on Matilda's neck again, because I firmly believe that Bahamut does not want to do the things that Matilda said the mark has done to her, and I want I, to understand um, more about RPing things, uh, we'll take care of RPing things uh, later. Um, okay. uh, that will be a, a private one, anyways. Um, yeah. So I will get that to you later. Uh, what are you going to make for tinkering? You've got four days at least to make for tinkering. I four, suppose five, five we, days. Well, one thing I'll try and to do is burst my remaining my remaining crossbow bolts, the forty that I have left in my inventory, into ice bolts if I can. Okay. Yeah. Um, and maybe I'll actually think about 
Maybe I'll see if I can enchant my javelin, one of my javelins with ice, if that's possible after I finish the bolts. I don't know. Okay, you'll have time to do... Uh, yeah, you'll have time to try that. Uh, go ahead and roll five tinker checks. Five tinker checks. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah. And again, I'm taking both both uh, advantage and disadvantage here. Um, all right, so let me add these up. Uh, you are... Go ahead and add 114 to your total. You are able to enchant all of the... Uh, crossbow bolts. Your javelin, however, does not appear to be affected at all. Uh, well, it was worth a try. Um, you, you are thankfully you haven't destroyed it, uh, but it uh, it just doesn't appear to be affected at all. Um, it seems like it's a lot more difficult to enchant a larger item than it is a smaller crossbow bolt. I see. Hmm. I see, huh? Yeah. Hey, do I have more Did... time still, or was that, was that all of my time? Yep. Uh, you have one more day. Um, let's enchant that arrows I have, too. Okay, you had a bundle of 20 arrows? Yeah, 20, 20 arrows. Okay, roll another tinker check. Just one? Yep. Alright, so add 20 to your score. Um... You are able to enchant ten of the arrows. So how okay. long until Garthal is proficient in tinkering? He's getting there. I'm getting there. Then he, if then he's, uh, then if he's done see. more tinkering earlier, he'd probably be there already. Then yeah, I just didn't know what to tinker with, really, but... Ah, this is, this now is you have idea. a good idea of what you can tinker with. Yeah, and maybe I can get a better idea of what else to do next. I still um, don't know if I'm quite at the mechanical stuff yet, but I'm making progress. Roll one more tinker check, actually, because oh. you're gonna you're gonna be spending more time here. Okay. One more tinker check. All right. So go ahead and add that twenty six in there as well. Six. And what does this do? Aside from um, give me twenty six proficiency. Yeah, you're able to enchant the other ten arrows there. Okay. I mean, it's, it doesn't take the entire day to do that. So. Uh, you're able to enchant the other ten, um, and you, out of all of that, you are out one, two, three, four, six, seven. You are out uh, 15 gold from that. 15 gold, not bad. 15 gold. Uh, just so everyone knows who's shooting these arrows, this is just pure cold damage. It's not... Cold plus the normal piercing damage. Uh, I see. It's a very, very simple common magic item. That's fair. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, did I miss anyone else? Uh, the the Ciala? <laughs> oh wait. Look, Matilda, did, did we get you? No, but she's pretty much going to be spending time with the family, helping out in the forge. Okay. Hey, I expect when Karako's not right. doing things, she'd be there because it's not going to take a full week for what she's doing. Yeah, uh, Koaku, I, I have a feeling you'll be able to translate and write pretty much all the spells during this week. She has, she already pretty much has them all translated. It's just the money issue for writing them. Okay. I think the uh, level 5 spell you decide not to translate to. I, I translated all of it, because that wasn't going to take okay. much. <laughs> that was just going to be the last one she translated. But that, that train okay. ride alone, to get to where they were, she had plenty, all the time the train ride to translate everything. Yep, all right. Because 13 and a half hours. So, all your spells are in. Uh, Kwaku, you have leveled up. Go ahead and roll your hit die. Uh, terrible How much experience did you get? Woo! Oh! I'm checking now. Nice. Nice. I'm checking now. Do um, uh, you mind if I poop for right now? I'll be back when it, in a... Do you want to know how much experience you got? Um, put it, just put it in the announcements. Yeah, yeah. put it in the announcements. I, I feel like I need to do something now, but I'll be back to check the experience and everything else whenever I'm back, okay? Alright. Okay, thank you. 
Oh yeah, so back. yeah. Shoot, are, have we ended the stream already or no? Uh, it's still no, live. I don't, I don't think All we right. have. Uh, just one second. I'm, you can shut off the stream if you want. Thank you, everyone, for coming and watching.